Thursday? Weird. Weird. Sorry for throwing anybody off who couldn't make it for the whole show. Has to go to bed early. Hannah, I see you. Hannah with the super chat popped in to say hi. Love you guys. Gotta go to bed. Thank you so much for popping in. Um, sorry you can't stay for the cookies. I didn't want to just cancel the show this week because I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I'm making cookies anyway, so we're here. Whoever's here can uh, hang out with us. That's, it is what it is. Hope you guys had a good day. Hope you're uh, excited for Friday tomorrow. I am taking off pretty early tomorrow morning, so I need to make some cookies because I don't go anywhere without snacks. People know me for my snacks, and I pretty much don't visit unless I bring snacks. So I wanted something fun and different this time. I love s'mores. I love s'mores flavored things, and this cookie looks amazing. If you guys didn't see it, it is a graham cracker chocolate chip cookie, s'mores sandwich cookie. It was a mouthful, I just called them s'more sandwich cookies. The cookie itself has graham cracker in it. In looking for things like this, like I wanted some sort of s'mores cookie something, you know, I'll go through Pinterest and just kind of scroll. Do you, do you guys go down Pinterest rabbit hole like I do? Just scrolling through, trying to find something new and different and s'mores cookies popped up. But it was a peanut butter cookie? But that's not s'mores. So I kept searching and found this recipe that actually incorporates graham cracker crumbs into a chocolate chip cookie. That in and of itself sounds amazing and I'm excited for it. Then it sandwiched together with marshmallow, um, thank you Melissa for pointing out, marshmallow cream. The recipe calls for marshmallow fluff. I did not know there was a difference between the two at all until Melissa pointed it out to me and said that she's only found marshmallow fluff at a couple of places. And I'm like, no, you can get it anywhere. Then I came home for lunch and looked at my jar and it's actually a marshmallow cream. So my lunch break was spent falling down a marshmallow cream versus fluff rabbit hole. Apparently they're essentially the same thing. Marshmallow fluff, if you're a fluffer nutter person, marshmallow fluff is the only marshmallow you put in a fluffer nutter. If you don't know, that's a peanut butter and marshmallow fluff sandwich. Never had one of those. We may have to try that sometime, Dan. Yeah. Yeah, you here for that? Um, Marshmallow cream has cream of tartar, tartar, however you pronounce that word, uh, which I think stabilizes it so it's better for baking, if I understand correctly and remember what I read at lunch. We're not baking this. So other than that, it seems that they're pretty interchangeable. You can use whichever one you want. This is easy to find. Aldi, Stater Brothers, Walmart, Target, Albertsons, literally anywhere I've ever been, the baking aisle has marshmallow cream doesn't really seem to be a difference. Not gonna make a difference in the cookie. I'm a little concerned because this is sticky. I do use this when I make uh, eggnog fudge and I know it is one of the stickiest substances I have ever baked with. And I'm not sure how that's gonna work sandwiched in a cookie, but I'm here for trying it. Although, not gonna lie, I did make some chocolate chip cookie dough. Chilling in the fridge right now. Made that up last night, just in case this is a total fail. So I have something else to bring with me for the weekend. 
got got to be prepared, right? Didn't didn't want this to fail. Uh, Angie says, Fluffernut are way yummy, but definitely an occasional treat. Yeah, I, it's not a thing. Like, I don't know if it's a regional thing or just like cultural and it's never come across my radar. I'm aware that it is a thing. Never had it in my life. So I don't know. If you guys are baking along, the recipe that I posted on Pinterest, no, on, well, yeah, on Pinterest and on Instagram and the Facebook page and group makes 12 sandwich cookies. So it'll make you 24 cookies. I'm not really sure how big the cookies are going to be. Uh, cookie sized balls of dough. That's very specific. Thank you, uh, person who wrote this recipe. Appreciate you. I, I'd like to work with actual measurements, not cookie sized. If you know me, you know I like my cookies big. I want a big ass cookie. So, being as I'm going to be hanging out with three of the people this weekend, I've got to leave some for Dan. Blake's going to want some. My mom was like, oh my God, are you bringing me some? I'm doubling the recipe. We're going to make 24 of these. So 48 cookies, 24 sandwiches. Learning from when I made the oatmeal cream pies, I'm going to undercook these. You know, they'll usually give you, let's see what this says, nine to 10 minutes. We're going nine minutes. We want to make them a little bit soft. They do tend to, from my experience with making sandwich cookies, they do tend to soften up because of the filling after you store them for a couple of days. But I want to make sure these aren't so hard that when you bite into them, that sticky marshmallow fluff goos out everywhere all over your hands. I want a really soft cookie. So I'm going to err on the side of undercooking just to make sure that they're soft enough that the insides don't goo out. Uh, Caitlin says, I always have cannolis. I freaking love cannolis. As an Italian, cannolis are necessary. Never made them. My aunt makes them. I think there might even be a recipe in her cookbook. I'm not positive on that, but she does make them and they always look amazing. Every time I've ever had them from a place where you buy them, unless it's an Italian market, they're just all right. They're never cold enough. That's a problem I have, but yeah, those are amazing. Cannoli uh, Ben & Jerry's ice cream also. May I recommend that? Uh, yes, Andy, totally my favorite big ass cookie. Yeah, why do I want to eat four little cookies? Just give me one big ass cookie. All right, all right, all right. Let's get started on this because I still have to pack, you guys. I haven't even taken my suitcase down. We're gonna be at this for at least a couple hours and I gotta get up early in the morning after I do a million things tonight. So let's get at it. So I'm doubling it. If you guys are not doubling it, make sure you use the recipe that I posted. I printed it out because I did not want to screw up in doubling it and forgetting to double something and ruining the entire recipe. So I doubled it, wrote it down and printed it. This is what I'm using. And as a matter of fact, I do need one more egg. Let me grab that real quick. <laughs> Sam's Life with the Husky says, uh, I should make that a t-shirt, big ass cookie, with just a big ass cookie on it. I am with it. Okay, so we're gonna cream together butter, brown sugar, granulated sugar until light and fluffy. Excuse my stage manager moving my props. So we need one and a half cups of light brown sugar and a half a cup of granulated sugar. I think that I mentioned it on the show before. If you guys are doing a recipe that requires both brown sugar and regular sugar, um, and you want to use the same measuring cup, measure out your sugar first because it won't stick to the measuring cup. Then measure your brown sugar and you can use the same measuring cup for both. I like brown sugar. <laughs> Dr. Detroit says Big Ass Cookie should be the name of the studios you guys film out of. Big Ass Cookie Studios. I agree. I'm, I'm okay with, with it. That. Yeah. All right, so half a cup of sugar. And a cup and a half of brown sugar light brown sugar. I don't know of any recipes. Do you guys know any recipes that use dark brown sugar? What's the difference? Does it just have more molasses on the sugar? Probably. I've never heard of the other. No, because it's always just brown sugar, and then that's light brown, unless it specifies, and I don't make anything that specifies that. Now, Husky Tales 101 is here. Hello, friend. Thank you for joining. Are you excited to get out of town? 
I'm very excited. I'm excited for like, like days away from like real life. Like just that thing, like days off of work are great, but when you're at home, you always have that feeling of like, oh, I have to get stuff done around here. When you go somewhere else, there's nothing. Look, there's like true freedom. The the morning that we leave, we'll all get up and like strip the bed sheets and wash those because we're we're staying in a house that my friend's family owns. So, you know, it's not a hotel where you just duck and run. We have to clean up stuff and and you know wash the sheets and stuff. But tomorrow and Saturday, I don't have any <coughs> responsibilities, and I love that feeling. You don't have to drive. I do not have to drive. I I have to go pick up one of the girls and then. Drive out to my mom's house, and one of the other girls is going to meet us there, and we are going to drive from there together, and I do not have to drive. How far away? Is it like three hours? No, it's not that far. Like, maybe two. It's not too bad. It's an interesting drive, though, because it's a freeway, but it's like a two-lane freeway that has stoplights. So highway? Is that a highway? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because one time we came back from there, remember, and there was so much traffic. Yes. There was, like, too much traffic. Helen says, you're going to kick my butt, Crystal. I still haven't done my s'mores you sent me, but I will as soon as... What? As soon as what? Um, no worries. It's probably cold there, and s'mores... Look, as much as I love s'mores, and I will eat them all year long, generally speaking, it's a summer treat. So, I don't know if the marshmallows will last that long. They tend to, like, shrivel up. But you can totally do it just on your stove. Um, if you have a gas stove. What'd you get in your new kitchen? You have a gas stove? Um, <laughs> use big lighter. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I've seen them done in the oven. Although I feel like that's going to ruin the graham cracker. I don't know. But yeah, no worries, friend. No worries at all. If it makes you feel any better, I still have the fondant that you sent me because I'm still trying to figure out what to do with it. I really want to do something fun. It's got to be like decorating cookies or something because it's a small amount. I'm not going to make a whole ass cake with it, but I can do some big ass cookies. <laughs> Jim says, ooh, a whole 48 hours without adulting? Nice. Absolutely. Oh, we're adulting. Don't you worry. Just not that kind of adulting. There's a... Uh, Five bottles of wine. Uh, I've seen no food. There's some chips and stuff. <laughs> like, I tried to put food in there for you yesterday, and you took it back out. Yeah. Yeah, food is not a priority for the weekend. Um, there's five different flavors of cheap bottled wine. There's eight of those uh, vodka cocktail ices. Um, I think I'm going to bring vodka, too. Like... We need this. Aside from, like, the fact that everybody's been, like, locked down away from their friends for the last year and a half, we as a collective friend group have not gotten together. Like, two of us have kids. Well, I guess I have a kid, too, but he's an adult, so he doesn't count. I don't have to plan around that. Um, but two of us have small children, and if you have small children, you know how hard it is to plan. We've been planning this since the beginning of June. It takes a long time to, like, find a weekend when everybody can get together. We are so ready for this. It, it's gonna be like pajama weekend. Like I might not even put on real pants the entire weekend. Yeah, you hang yeah. out at the Walmart. No, I'm gonna hang out on the back patio. Uh, Helen says it is cold. Going to invest in a little outside wood fire. Awesome. Yeah, from what I read online, the s'mores ingredients that you guys can get there are not the same as what we have here. Um, as far as I can tell, I think you guys don't have actual graham crackers. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe there's like a, like how we have an international foods aisle. Do you have like a U.S. unhealthy crap section in your grocery store? Is that a thing? Have you seen that? Every time you no. see like foods from America and it's like cheesy poofs and, and just like the it's sugary Cheesy poofs. I love it. It it's probably like, is. It's the most unhealthy, like sugary cereal and stuff. There's never like, what do we have? Like we have gluttonous unhealthy stuff. If you would like to try American food, there you go. Jordan says, hold on, wait, I don't want to go to work this weekend. Can I come with you? Start driving now, friend. It's two hours from here, so factor that in. No, this is amazing. It's, it's going to be, it's pretty much like going to an Airbnb. Like, it's a furnished, like, vacation home, I guess. Um, and some of her family lives a couple doors down, so we'll usually go say hi to them and stuff. And um, it was a super private backyard with, like, 20-foot tall greenery all around it, like, bushes. Um... And like when you go in the house, the house is at street level and then you go out the back door onto the patio and you have to go down a set of stairs to get into the backyard. 
So it's like two stories of greenery bushes, so it was super, super private. And uh, my friend sent me a picture the other day that the neighbors on one side took out all the bushes on one side. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Okay, it says until light and fluffy. So let, let's let it go just a little bit more. I'm excited for you. Yeah. I'm excited for me. I'm ready. Like, I'm in good spirits now. Work is done. The last few hours of work today were insane. I'm like, don't talk to me. I got to get all this done by 5 o'clock because I am out of here at 5 o'clock. And I'm yabba dabba doo. Yeah? You yabba dabba doo out there? Oh, yeah. Boss was pulling up. And I'm like, see you later. I propped the door open for you so you don't have to use your key. But that was it. I was done. See ya. I don't know if you read that. Uh, yeah, I forgot. It's, it's, it's not s'mores time in Australia. It's winter. No, it's Duh. not. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I just looked up like what can what from America can you not get in Australia? And that's one of the things I came up with. Um, I do want to know, Helen, did you try the small uh, the Oreos and what was your favorite flavor? I sent Helen <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> do you need a scratch backer? I have one too. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Um I sent Helen like I think I did like four each of every variety of s'mores that I have so she could try each flavor because they don't get them out there. They don't get the variety. Wait, where she lives doesn't get the variety of flavors. Because apparently Stephanie uh, said they do get some flavors there. So uh, Chris says, OMG, it's Friday night. Let's get baked. Sure, friend. <laughs> Uh, Husky Tail says, hope it's okay to post pics in RFS Dan and family group. I posted a pic of my GSD puppy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Although we do have RFS Cats group on Facebook. If you guys aren't a part of that yet, please post all your pets there. I love it. I love seeing everybody's animals. Y'all have some cute pets. And you know, I don't know if Foxy Koala is here, but I haven't seen Vance in a minute. Can we get a, a new Vance picture? Because I kind of love him. And if, if she's not here, can somebody tell her, please? Uh, Marco says, I assume no vodka tonight. No, because there will be plenty of alcohol the next two nights, and I need to pace myself. I'm not really a drinker, kind of a social drinker when I'm hanging out with my friends and stuff, and I don't want to get too, like, hungover and not be able to get up in the morning. Like, I'm a slow mover in the morning. If I'm getting up for work, I have to get up and go straight into the shower, and it takes me about an hour to get ready, and I'm not even a, like, put makeup on in the morning kind of person, but it takes me about an hour just to, like get into the shower, get out, get dressed, do my hair, get myself to a functional point in life. So I'm gonna have to get up pretty early. I gotta leave here at about 10.30, which yes, that's early for me, you guys. On a day I don't have to go to work, that is very early. That's good. Butter and sugar, who cares, it's delicious. Uh, Helen tried most of them, but loved them all. Yes, there were some amazing flavors in there. Beer and bug, maybe a half vodka? No, I can't. I, I have so much to do tonight. Dan did my laundry for me today, but I have to like sort through and figure out which pajamas I'm taking with me and try to make sure not to forget anything. I hate to forget my toothbrush because I drink too much vodka. That would be awful. It's Thursday night, so this is, it's getting baked time somewhere. Absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna be in the vanilla extract and the egg. Get my little cup for my eggs. <laughs> Uncle Yukon says, takes me no time at all doing my hair. Not gonna lie, a little bit jealous of that. Um, I have naturally curly hair, but it doesn't curl well out here. I think I've talked about this before. So every single morning I have to blow dry my hair. If I'm feeling ambitious, I'll use one of those like curling brushes to try to do a blowout kind of thing. Then I have to take a curling iron to like flatten all that frizz out. It's just, it's a pain in the ass, let me tell you. But I've had really short hair before and it's not the best look. Doesn't really fit my face well. What are we doing here? Come on, why do we got shell? Sorry guys, I got a little piece of shell in here. There we go. Jordan says, the joy of wrapping, I'm assuming you mean your hair, takes five minutes no matter how complex. See, you've got a, a face that looks nice with no hair. I don't have that kind of face. I have like kind of severe features when you don't see my hair. I have to have hair to frame it out, so. 
I don't even really like to put my hair in a ponytail. Because then, like, there's no hair to, like, balance out these features. So, yeah, I gotta do the hair. As much as I hate doing it, if I want to look where I'm confident in how I look, I have to do it. Uh, Doris says, try the InStyler. It's amazing. My mom actually has it. I've never tried it, but she does have one. I think I bought it for her. Okay, so we have our two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Maybe I should try that sometime and see how that works. Maybe I would want one of those. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> you and your punny dad jokes. Uh, the joy of rapping. Need me to supply a beatbox or some dope samples? <laughs> you are too much. Okay, so two teaspoons. Again, I'm doubling this recipe, so don't pay attention to my measurements if you are baking along and not doubling it. Oh, this vanilla is amazing, and I'm so sad that I'm never going to find it again. It's time for a new vanilla. I know. Every time I buy vanilla, it's a different one, because I just, I've talked about it before. I, I feel like I get repetitive on this, but maybe all you guys don't hear me every time. Um, I like to get my vanilla from like home goods or ross or something like that where they have like clearance stuff that you know this stuff was supposed to cost 13 dollars a bottle which isn't that expensive for vanilla prices but it's a big bottle it smells absolutely amazing i think it's like organic or something i don't know natural orchid vanilla bean I, this is amazing it smells better than any vanilla i've ever used jordan said you all have a ross yeah we have one two I want to say there's three, but there's at least two in our like valley area that I could get to within 20 minutes. Um, and then there's a TJ Maxx out in the next town over. There's a Home Goods out there. We have Marshalls. I think there's two Marshalls in the valley as well. Those are my favorite places because you find the most random stuff. Whether we're talking about vanilla or like home decor, a lot of my home decor lately has been coming from Home Goods just because it's so like. No shade to anybody who shops at Target, but like, I feel like the stuff at Target, like everybody has those in their house and I'm not that person to like get the things that everybody has. I want really unique things that like speak to me and a lot of the stuff at Target doesn't. It's very neutral, which is cool if that's your thing. My house, if you've seen it, not neutral at all. I'm not going with whites or creams or browns or anything. It is bright colors. I bought this rug. If you've seen our rug in our living room, the main color is like a, a turquoise teal, and then it's got pretty much every other color you can think of. Brown and yellow and red and orange and like every color you can think of. And I bought that with the intent that I'm gonna pull colors out of that to decorate my house. And I've absolutely done that through the whole house. The most neutral thing in this house is the kitchen with the gray walls and the white cabinets. Everything I buy is full of color. So Target's not really my jam. Just, just using Target as an example, because I know a lot of people buy their home things there. But yeah, those discount stores are, are the jam. My favorite thing to get there at Home Goods is the Talavera pots. I think those are amazing. Do you guys don't know what those are? Those are flower pots or any other kind of decor. They do other things too. Um, my, can you see any of them? Yeah. My light switch plate covers are like Talavera type stuff where it's it's a Mexican pottery thing and it's all colorful and stuff. Those pots are so expensive, like minimum $30. You can get them for like 15 for a big one at Home Goods. So that's what I like to go over there and get very often. Although I'm not allowed to buy any more flower pots anymore. I have way too many. Amanda says, oh, and the cookies spread in the oven. Awesome. Uh, BR Bug says, are your TJ Maxx's a Max Home Goods combo. No, they are separate. I've never seen a combo. I, I'm pretty sure I knew they were the same. I knew some of them were owned by the same company, but wasn't sure which ones. But no, they're all separate out here. I only knew that from looking online. Amanda with the super chat. Thank you so much for the support. Says, I'm using a one ounce cookie scoop. Hopefully they'll all be the same size. Okay, and then she said they spread. Um, when I did the root beer um, float sandwich cookies and the oatmeal pies, they matched up pretty well. As long as you measure them out the same, they're gonna measure out pretty, or you know, end up about the same size. You can you can get them pretty good for sandwiching. Uh, Helen with the super chat, thank you, friend. Says I invested in a brush hair straightener. My hair is long and thick, and it takes me 15 minutes tops to do my hair. Yeah, I should really do something like that. It's it's just too much. I, honestly, like it takes me probably 10 minutes to dry my hair, and then like five minutes to curl it. So you know, only like 15 minutes of my getting ready is doing my hair, but. It's just not how I want to spend my mornings. 
Uh, Sally says, my daughter used to work at Ross. She's brought so many clothes home, designer clothes. That's a place, like, if I went back to retail, that's a place I would like to work. Just a place where, like, you find really awesome things at great prices. Don't mind me. I have to taste the cookie dough and drip it all over the place. How's it going? Messy. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. Hi, me. What's going on over here? Paper? Uh, oh my gosh. Just, you, you don't ruin my paper. That's my. Oh my gosh. That's my secret recipe. From the 90s. It's <laughs> oh, what's up, what's up, PJ? <laughs> Somebody called me at work today and asked if he could fax me over something, and yeah. I laughed for a minute, and I was like, you know, we just got a new phone system, and I think we have a fax machine. <laughs> Hold on, let me check. And then I had to go in the back, and I'm like, hey, someone's calling from 1995, and he wants to fax something over. <laughs> Is that an option? <laughs> so he faxes this over, and it's, like, so illegible. It's so bad that my boss had to send me the original copy that he had, had on his computer so that I could actually read the information to... I had to make a contract off of it, but you couldn't even read the fax. It's so efficient. Don't you guys have, like, a log of faxes? Like, where you, like, print out, like, oh. print out of faxes? Like, old? Like, you, old? what would you do? You'd fax them, and then you'd write down the oh fax? Oh, God. And <laughs> okay, let's so, not get too sidetracked. Let's not get too sidetracked. <laughs> off of that. Real quick, though. I Part of my job at work is to scan in old files from, like, the 90s and make them digital. And they they faxed things with a fax cover sheet and then had a paper recording that they faxed it, which they also did when email became a thing. It, that's what it is, too. They, it they would send an email, email and then have a paper logging that they sent an email. And was there a printout with it, too? Or yes, no? a printout, a printout of the and email a um, and a log of the email. That is a big testament of, of, of we don't know how to use or trust technology correctly. Yes, absolutely. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it, definitely. It was very interesting. I laugh all the time going through the old files. Um, I do see I missed a couple of super chats here. PJ, thank you for the support. Thank you for showing up. Friend says, hey fam, it's Thursday, but my brain is on Friday since Monday. Let's get baked. This was the longest week ever. It was that thing where like, it's a short week, but you're so anxious for the end of the week that it just feels like forever. Um, today I was in Friday mode all day. Like, Were you? Done. Just done. It's Friday and everybody's like, mm, middle of the week, Thursday. And uh, I was on Friday mode all day. Dang. Uh, Kelly stoked, uh, stoked that um, Trapper Keepers are back. Oh my gosh, yeah. we have an original Trapper Keeper uh, back there. We do. That's like in great, like mint condition from yes. the 90s. Because it had a 57 Chevy on yeah. it, and my dad collected 57 love, Chevy everything. I love my Trapper Keeper. You have a Trapper Keeper folder over here that you were just using yesterday, too, for I some do. recipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's literally from the 90s. <laughs> uh, let's see. Beer and Bug with a super chat. Thank you so much. Here's a little traveling money. Awesome. Thank you, Frank. Yay. I appreciate that. I hope that. you don't get stuck in traffic. <laughs> Dr. Detroit said so the blonde Dan appears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did somebody fax you their butt? I don't think you can do that. Oh, our fax machine's cute. It's all little. And then I turn it on so I can get the fax. And then all these, like, uh, spam faxes come through. Because yes. spam faxes are a oh, thing. Yeah. Like, you want a vacation. And, uh, like, get your pills. Were you getting doctor faxes at the other? At the <laughs> oh, other, yes. Uh, at my old job, um, Kaiser's <laughs> fax number was one digit off from, our, like, Tra two numbers transposed so we would get their faxes all the time and they'd be like can you mail it back to us I'm like but no i'll destroy it you you loved doogie hauser and you watched all the episodes you could diagnose <laughs> you you're all caught up on it the was good like doctor. personal information in there and they're just you could faxing all the way like i had personal to information like ryan dunn's like um, X-rays and, and the jackets. Not, ex not X-rays, but detailed descriptions of symptoms and things like that. It was it was nasty. But oh, you know you had no, to read uh, it. Come on, how do you not? You should have brought it home to me. I had to shut the facts off because sometimes I come back. From, <laughs> I would come back from lunch. My eyes. And there would be like a hundred <laughs> sheets that printed while I was gone because they would send over like fifty sheet it's, documents. It's the Britannica. Just That's like for real. All of it. All of it. Yeah, I ended up uh, finally having three times to get on the phone with the supervisor and, 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 and explain to them over and over like. You can't keep doing this. Yes. You're wasting. Somebody needs to come over here and take all these faxes that you want to send them back, back to web and bring us a couple reams of paper because <laughs> right. this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Who's Dookie Hauser? <laughs> <laughs> Not Dookie. Dookie. Google it, Jim. That was, that was a different movie. Come on, you're old enough to know that, Dookie Hauser. That was a different movie. <laughs> okay, so. I think that my recipe didn't. Jim's 100% joking. <laughs> <laughs> he said dookie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, um, so I doubled my ingredients. I didn't double my instructions. So it says to combine one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. I need to double that. So it's going to be three cups of graham cracker crumbs. I still have some left over from whatever we made with graham cracker crumbs. I don't think we made graham cracker crumbs. That we oh. put on the top of it? No, it was on the bottom of, wasn't that in the uh, was, milk bar pie? It was, oh, uh, yes, it was, that, you yeah, haven't used this since then, right? No. So, but I did have to buy another box because I knew I was going to need a bunch of this. I kind of loved Doobie Hauser when I was a kid. I thought he was amazing. I think I watched it. I I, I, I had to have seen it, you know, because I know, yeah, no, I watched Wait, it. Wait, like you didn't watch it on the regular? Oh, uh, no, no, like, because, well, here's the thing, like, you also rewatched it since we've been together. Um, yeah. You, yeah, because you That's were all down for this Max Max guy. Casella, Vinny on Doogie Howser. Dude, I just kind of had a thing for boys who climbed in windows in the 90s. That's... That was my thing. That's concerning. So it's like him... Sam from Clarissa Explains, explains It All. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling the you, I, I know... The BTK killer. I, <laughs> <laughs> I know all about the boys who climbed in the window, and um, I think you mean the Golden State Killer. <laughs> The Doogie Howser was fun, I guess. Like, it, like back in the day, like in the '80s and the '90s, there was three, there was like three or four things to watch. Like, that's what you watched. Right. Like everybody watched yeah. the things because you know, they it. were the things. Yeah. Okay. So one. <laughs> and yes, uh, Jim uh, Neil Patrick Harris did tear it up on How I Met Your Mother. Yes. Oh, yeah. he was amazing. And like, I don't think we'd really seen him and, since Doogie Howser. And F. Ted Mosby. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to fight yeah, him. I don't oh think Neil gosh. Patrick Harris, like, he was around, but I don't think he was really any sort of popular, and then he popped up on that, and mm. that, he was, uh, Broadway. that man, it, yeah, he went and did Broadway stuff, yeah. um, amazing. Dr. Horrible He Sing is along. incredibly talented and gorgeous. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, his features, gorgeous. You, uh, you have not seen the Dr. Horrible scene alone. I think you put some of it on at some point, but it wasn't but really But he's great, chance, he's but, super talented. Yeah, he's great. Um, also married to a super talented, um, chef. David, b b something with the B. I know how like we have the Magic Castle out here, um, and yes. I know he's part owner or he does something at the Magic Castle, so he's all like. Do you remember when I read his book? Uh, no, because like it's all the. But yes, okay, yes, the, yeah, I do. I had the physical copy from the library. It was a choose your own adventure book. Oh yes, remember that? that? Yes, I remember. And it. you could choose. It, it, I, like, I thought that I was I couldn't. Brilliant. I had to read it beginning to end because I'm that kind of person. But it's choose your own adventure, and That's like weird. you'd ask like where you want to go, even, like which story you want to hear next. Even Johnny Five would probably follow the rules to the book. I couldn't do it because I didn't want to miss anything. I, I was super, I'm, I'm really fascinated. If you guys don't, check out Neil Patrick Harris on Instagram. Follow him, check him out. He's got two gorgeous little children. Just gorgeous. Like, the man is amazing. Amazing. And looks amazing in drag. Um, Harv just became a member. Welcome to the fam, Harv. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you. Can you make a note of that somewhere so we can remember to update it? Yes. Bradley is watching. Bradley, what are you doing? Your Auntie Crystal is here and I'm making cookies, but unfortunately you cannot have any. I'm so sorry. I talked to Bradley earlier and he was eating a hamburger and french fries and chicken nuggets. <laughs> All from McDonald's, your favorite. Mm. Yep, he got spoiled tonight for dinner. So Harv, thank you so much for becoming a member. Your member benefits are your name in green. You'll get custom Dan Head Mohawk emojis for the months you've been a member. Yay! You'll get access to members first vlog, which is one up right now, uh, which was pretty popular this last time. I know you guys like that. Thank you guys so much uh, for enjoying our members first vlogs. Um, you'll get emojis. People put emojis in the chat, little custom emojis, and you're supporting the show. So thank you so much. Thank you, I really appreciate it. All you guys, too, thank you so much. I was trying to push the members button over there a little bit ago. No. Still having problems with that stream deck. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Melissa. Yes, David Burka is his husband. Uh, D -B D -B it's delicious with a B after the D is his name on uh, Instagram. Delicious? Delicious? I don't know. Whatever it is. But yeah, he's amazing, too. An amazing chef. Uh, Jordan says I should send her some books that I already read that I think she might like because besides her crocheting she has nothing to do at work here here is my suggestion friend so I um, weeded through my books years ago and got rid of anything <laughs> that like Horns books <laughs> like, but I weeded through and got rid of anything that I didn't really care about oh uh, yeah I remember that there was the purge because we were afraid that you were gonna sink the house yes with words um and then I commence collecting again. The books that I have at this point, I don't just buy books like, oh, I want to read that. I buy books that I've read or that I know I'm going to love. So my book collection is more like cultivated things that I love. It's like that, you. Yeah, it's, it's not like things I want to part with. But here's my suggestion, friend. And I don't know what your county's library stuff looks like, but if you guys go 
check if your library has something called Overdrive or there's another app called Libby. And there's a bajillion ebooks. I am lucky enough to live in LA County, so you have a huge selection of ebooks if you're in LA County. Um, your library may also do a thing where you can have books transferred from other libraries. That was something that was a game changer when I figured that out, because you can wander through the library all you want and find things, but sometimes there's just a thing you want to read. You can go on to your library's website, find a book you want to read. If it's at another library, you can put it on hold for transfer. They'll bring it to your library and let you know when it's there and it's just on hold with your name on it. The Highly recommend that. Thing is awesome. Yes, I have, lately I've been reading mostly it's ebooks. It's like an audio, it's like Audible. Um, you just go yes. there and you rent them. So you don't need an ebook reader. You can get the Kindle app, at least on your iPhone. I don't know if you guys have Android, if they do the same thing, I, I but. Guess, yeah. Do they? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jordan doesn't even know if the library is open. Ours just recently opened back up, but even if it's not, I've been reading ebooks. You can, if you have a library card, which even if you don't, I think most libraries are making it so you can sign up online. They're, they want you to read books. They know we're all sitting at home with nothing to do or at work with nothing to do. Get the Kindle app on your phone. Get some books. You can, you can get the books through the Overdrive or Libby app. It'll take you to Amazon and you download the book to your Kindle app because Amazon owns Kindle. And you can get the book for as much as 21 days, which... Even if that's not enough to read it, you can usually renew it, but I highly recommend that. Uh, Charlotte's so excited for our library book sale. That, honestly, no joke, people, is the thing I have missed the most during all of this everything shut down stuff. Quarter books, that is my life. I go and come back with a whole stack of books. Amazing. Ours always has really good books. Yeah, if your guys' uh, libraries are closed, Check the apps, I'm telling you. Um, I don't have an e-reader. I don't want that big old thing. I'm gonna lay in bed with this big tablet trying to read it. No, I just do it on my phone, hold my pop socket up and just read on my phone. You can read at night in bed. Um, at work, shh, don't tell. I'll open the Kindle app and I'll prop it up on my keyboard and I'll kind of put some paper halfway over it and I read books at work sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just get like a workbook, like your mom's Access 2000 book, <laughs> and then open access up the lid and like shave out the pages <laughs> in it and have, inside it, have it. it inside there? I have taken real physical books to work too. That's another thing I'm excited for this weekend. I'm, I'm bringing a book with me. I have the, the most recent Stephen King book that I've not read yet that is still sitting on my nightstand. I am taking that with me. Okay, so I have my three cups of graham cracker cup crumbs. It requires, the original recipe was two cups. You're gonna save a half a cup to sprinkle on the top at the end. I'm doing three cups, saving a cup to sprinkle on the top at the end. So then to that, I need to add one and a half cups of flour. Uh, Harv with the super chat with the smile and emu. Thank you so much for the support, friend. I appreciate that. What did I say it was? One and a half. Garage sale books? Um, you know, I never thought, I, I haven't been to a garage sale in a while, but. No, I feel like the garage sales around here, every time we drive by and look, it's just like, oh, you're trash. But, but what's inside there is treasure. Eh, I guess so. Um, but I think we get our fill at the, um, the li those library. The book sale. sales. They, yeah. Normally they do it out here in March and October. And not only that, I will hunt the crap down. So there's one in Lancaster. There's one in Palmdale. There's one in Little Rock. There's one in Acton. I've been to all of them and at, I will go hunt down all look, the damn books. At this point, like, you probably own every Every word. I do. You every, probably every own word. every word on paper, but yet you still just find other books with words that are just in different order. It's, it's a different story. You don't get it. Have you seen the meme that's like what it looks like and it's someone sitting there with a book and it just looks like that and what it feels like and there's like this whole <laughs> like animated picture. Like if you're reading a good book, you get super absorbed into it. It's, it's more consuming for me than a TV show. Like legitimately. Oh no, I'm not. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know. You don't though. No, but I know. Like, I, like I'm. I'm only joking. Like, I know <laughs> reading's a thing, and everybody does it, and it's great. And everybody does it. And it's great. great. Yeah. So I am only joking when I crap on it. Oh, uh, what else? Uh, Dora says I can't read on my phone. My eyes don't work that well. Oh, that's unfortunate. <coughs> Audiobooks help though. <laughs> yeah, you can do audiobooks yeah, as well. And the read, library does have audiobooks. You can read with your ears. Yes, absolutely. Um, you can also, um, on the Kindle app, just so you guys know, to make it a little bit easier on your eyes, especially if you're reading in bed, you can set it to night mode. 
and they have a um, dyslexic font, which I am not dyslexic, but I switched to that font and I feel like my reading um, speed has increased. It just makes it easier to read. So I suggest looking into that. It definitely makes it a little bit better and easier. Chris says, library sale day is dangerous for me. Oh yeah, me too. But look, you go in and come out with a whole ass bag of books and you spent $3. Like sometimes they're like, it's $3. And I'm like, here's a five. You can keep the rest. Like I feel bad for only giving them $3 for like a whole bag of, uh, oh man. Oh, did she stop you mid track? Amanda with the saddest super chat ever. I forgot the chocolate chips and the cookies. Oh, friend. Just cut the cookies open with Doogie Hauser precision. You know put what? It it's not going to be awful. Maybe, maybe just put a little extra chocolate on the outside. Oh, I feel so bad for you. That's the worst. Just do a shooter. You just hunk. <laughs> Toss a hand. Wham. Wham. Oh, I didn't want a ha ha. And now I think I put three. Did I put three in here, guys? Uh, for sure. Two. This is why I count out loud. I know for sure two, but I'm not for sure three. I think that was three. I think so too, That's but I'm lot. not. I think that was three. I watched you do two because I was just zoning out staring at it. This is why I count like the count out loud. <laughs> All right, so what else goes in here? The baking soda and the salt. Let me get that in here before I'm mixing it. Froggy said you put three, but Thank you. Frog, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna trust you. I don't know. Rewind. We don't have rewind. We're living it. <laughs> like Ooh. you guys can rewind life, but I can't be like yeah, you. you can't life. Um, Amanda, like, Jim has a good su suggestion. Mix the chocolate chips into the marshmallow filling. I'm not sure how well that'll actually mix because it's so darn sticky. But if you can't mix it in, maybe put the marshmallow filling and then a little layer of chocolate chips. If you have mini chocolate chips, that might even work a little bit better. You can burn the house down. Um, what? You start over. Uh, Jess says, I enjoy books, but my brain will just not let me read. That makes me sad for you, friend. That's, that makes me really sad. You know what happens to me? I get tired. Every time I start reading, my eyes are just like, even at work. So I have to be careful about reading at work. I've been listening to podcasts it's lately. Same line 40 times for me, because when I get to oh, the end, I can't find the beginning of the next line again. It's full frustrating. But uh, if I put a, rule, a ruler... Then I can... That's what we did when, with Blake when I was doing yeah. school stuff with him. He always had to keep a bookmark to follow the line And at along. the end of a sentence, I'm like, what I read? Oh, I do that like, all the time. I was busy I'm reading. reading. I'm like, look, guys, I'm reading. I'm reading. <laughs> where, where you're reading, Dan? And then, but, like, I got to the end of the sentence, and it's like, well, what'd you read? I was like, well, I was I was reading. Like, Not, I, not focusing on I know, I'm reading. Like, I <laughs> can't, all. like, focus on the story I'm reading. I'm reading here. Um, yeah, I definitely spend a lot of time getting to the end of the paragraph. I just read this book called The Great God Pan, and it was a pretty quick, short book. I reread pretty much every word in there just because it was so, it was a heavy read, like the language was a little bit hard to parse. So I reread a whole lot of that book, and, and you know, it was all right. Um, not going to lie, I did have to go look up online uh, what the hell just happened just because it didn't fully make sense but then once i read that i was like oh yeah okay that that's what happened like i, I read that that's what happened yeah. okay so i need a teaspoon of baking soda i will say there's a lot of stuff in here like because i doubled it okay yeah there's a lot so of we're stuff making going 48 on. cookies there's a lot of stuff going on there and melissa says i get about three pages in and fall asleep it's actually what i do to fall asleep these days like Sometimes I'll read throughout the day, but when it's bedtime, every single night I open up that Kindle app and I'll get through like three pages and then I'm just done. Okay, and then half a teaspoon of salt. Uh, Nathan says, what's up, RFS, Dan, Dan, and Crystal? Hi. Gosh, just making some uh, s'more sandwich cookies. Whoop. Amanda reads while AJ's in therapy or waiting for him at school in the pickup line. That's my favorite thing about having the Kindle app on my phone. I make sure to always have books on there. I will download two or three books at a time just in case I start one. And it's taken me a long time to get here, but I have realized if I don't like a book, I don't have to read it. Mm. I can just stop. Yeah. The first book I did that with was Wicked. Remember when I tried to read Wicked? Oh, you're Everybody about talked that. about how great the play was. And I started reading the book and it was 
terrible, you guys. Absolutely terrible. And about halfway through, I was done. I returned that to the library, and I will never touch it again. <laughs> no, I, I would be willing to go see the play, because lots of people who have seen the play still say it's amazing. Give the play a chance. And, you know, I'm down for live theater, but I will never touch that book again. I would never recommend that to anybody. That was literally the first book I stopped halfway through. But I love just having two, three, four options on my phone and just being able to pop that can, open, read a page or two, and move on. Can you get into it? Like, um, like... Like how Amanda's like, oh, I'll just do that for like 10 minutes until AJ gets out. But like, you can't just unpause the movie and get back into it. Um, oftentimes, like, you gotta take off. Oftentimes I will back up a paragraph or two so that I can remember where I was. I try to stop at the end of a chapter or like a section or something where there's a good stopping point. You know, stop at a commercial break kind of thing. Or stop at the end of an episode and you can get back into a TV show. But to stop like mid-chapter, I definitely have to go back. All right, so we're adding this dry goodness into the cookie. Don't let me forget the chocolate chips, guys. I'm so sad for you, Amanda. I think they'll still be good, though, because there is going to be chocolate on the outside, and you've got the graham cracker crumbs in the cookie. I think it's salvageable, friend. I, I think it'll be okay. Let me know what you end up deciding to do, if you just go with it or if you end up um, adding chocolate chips somewhere, like into the marshmallow filling or something. Let me know what you end up doing. Thank you, Shannon. Shannon tried to read Wicked twice and couldn't get past the first few chapters. It was so bad. Yeah, it was absolutely awful. Like, not afraid to say one of, if not the worst book I've ever read. Noelle says, Mice, Mice of? What is that? What is that? Mice of was that book for me? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Yukon. Appreciate you. No, I did not preheat the oven. Thank you. You guys are lifesavers. Thank you so much, Sam. Hey, I'm we're, glad you say guys were able to say that. <laughs> like, we're preheating to 350. Yeah, because it's going to be time to put this It's going to be time soon. to put this off in the oven soon. This is the best part about baking with an audience. Like, look, Amanda, next time you bake, you should try live streaming, and they won't let you forget the chocolate chips. Just you know, pro tip there. <laughs> So dusty. Yeah, and it's really full. I'm scared it's gonna come out. I do have that little guard thing, but I don't really like it. Oh, it's getting thick. Are you going to read Stephen King uh, later? Is that the name of the book? That's that's the the little paperback one. Yeah, I bought that like pre-sale. It showed up, and because I read in bed and the lights are already off. I haven't read a physical book in quite a while, so it's just been sitting on my nightstand. Um, I will probably also bring House on, House, The Haunting of Hill House. I'm like three quarters of the way through that, but sorry to say, I don't think I've ever said this in my life, the TV show was better. Like they went a different direction with it. If you guys have seen The Haunting of Hill House, I think it's on Netflix, really, really good. About a family that lives in this haunted house. I'll, I'll leave it at that, spoiler free. The uh, book is more like random people show up at the house. So there's no like relationships formed. There's no like, you don't really connect with the characters in the same way in the book. I just, I'm having trouble getting into it, but I, I really want to finish it. Ugh. Okay, that's really thick and heavy. Okay, so just until combined, stir in the chocolate chips. Okay, for chocolate chips, I have, I, I believe it was, was it Melissa that sent me chocolate chips? You don't remember. Uh, yes. I, I think it was Melissa. Um, sent me Hershey's chocolate chips. I actually used one of the bags already. So I'm gonna use this and I think I have to add more. Shit, I don't think I took out another bag. Um, I need two oh, and a half cups. Here, yeah, because that's, that's for the dipping. Uh, Morgan says, what about the movie? I didn't watch the movie. I didn't know there was a movie. I'm going to have to look into that. Was the movie more like the book where it was random people that went to the house rather than a family? I was super invested in that TV show. That was amazing. Like, definitely one that I would recommend if you're into that sort of thing at all. Check that out. It's really, really good.
That's weird because it's a cookie dough, but it's a graham crackery, but I, I still have high hopes for this. Got some good flavor to it. Definitely think this is a better choice than doing a peanut butter cookie. I'm not the hugest fan of a peanut butter cookie anyway, so to try to like mash that up with s'mores just didn't sound good to me at all. Can you grab me another bag of milk chocolate chips out of the fridge? Okay, this is good and thick. Uh, Morgan says, you've probably seen it. The Haunting with Owen Wilson and Liam Neeson doesn't ring a bell, but I'm definitely going to look into that. It sounds older. It sounds like a 2006 movie. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, that works. Thank you. Uh, My Life's Wicked Adventure says, love the Netflix show, wanted more, love the movie as well. Yeah, I definitely wanted more, and I think they marketed the, the Bly Manor one as a sequel to it. I think I tried to watch that and couldn't get into that. Okay, so I'm gonna taste test it. We want two and a half cups of chocolate chips. These are all squishy. I might have should have left these in the fridge for what I'm using them for. In 1999. All right, I guess that's a little earlier than I thought it was. Oh, when that movie came out? I watch it. I might need to get a new measuring cup soon. This one's getting a little foggy. It is a little foggy. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You can never have too many chocolate chips in your cookies, right? We're almost at three cups, but I'll take it. Uh, what did Morgan say? Oh, Morgan sent a link to it. Awesome. Thank you. I will definitely check that out. And thanks for texting it, because I would have forgotten. Bly Manor, it's turn the screw? What does that mean? Like, that's the book it's based off of? Oh, I'm afraid these are not gonna work because they're so squishy. F it, we're going for it. This is a thick dough. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're gonna have a big Popeye arm at the end. I am. You can do it. Oh, I'm so excited for this, you guys. Are you? I am. Uh, you know I love s'mores things. Just the graham cracker marshmallow chocolate is the perfect combination. Whoever came up with that needs like some sort of special recognition. I'm trying to make sure I get the bits off the bottom. It looks like they're staying together in there. <laughs> BRM Bucks says, guess you'll have chocolate streaks in your cookies instead. <laughs> Aww. Uh, let's see. Okay, Amanda with the super chat says, I've decided to put a small amount of melted chocolate on the back of the cookies. Oh, like, before you sandwich them together, like, dip the bottom of the cookie? Is that what you're talking about? Because that sounds like a really good idea. Today feels like Friday, so I'm off a day. A lot of that people have asked what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Uh, the, the same things I do every day. Oh, was that, was plot take over the world? <laughs> no, that's your jam. <laughs> I'm more pinky. <laughs> yeah, you are. That looks texture-y. Uh, I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Chris says that Amanda said yes. Awesome. That is um, a brilliant suggestion or solution to your problem. I like it. Mm. That was so good, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. You I'm wanna a, try it? No, I wanna be super prized. Super prized? Yeah. <laughs> I wanna be super prized. There's no super prize. Uh but yeah, no, I'll just keep on keeping on. It's different, like like I said, you're going away, but like I'm home all day anyway by myself pretty much every other week, so Right. Keep on keeping on. I got some stuff to do. I don't have any me to entertain you tonight or the next two nights. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> well, don't sound so excited. No, you'll have fun. Can maybe we trade sides with uh, this? Probably. Thank you. All right. So, uh, cookie-sized balls. Is there a secret 
to uh, to the ball making? Um, does like your hands need to be damp or not damp or anything um, it, like that? It does sometimes help a little bit if they're a little bit damp. Not too much. It doesn't really matter. They're okay. just going to get covered with cookie dough. I'm afraid these are going to be too big. Amanda did say that they spread... Which, you know, obviously they're going to, but for her to comment on it tells me they're going to spread quite a bit into a flat cookie. <laughs> the narf is strong with this one. Yes, pinky in the brain is the best. I think the trick here, because you're going to sandwich them, is just to try to make them all as much the same size as you can. I never know, like with the first batch of a new recipe, you never know how close you can put them together because you don't know how much they're going to spread. I, that's, this that's almost going to touch because those are pretty tall. Oh, they're dense. I would almost go a little wider. But, what, but I don't, a Well, you bit. know, first batch, I always try to be okay. careful and then you get an idea of, of how they're going to spread so you can plan them out for your next batch. do like this where I'm staggering so they have extra room and we may be able to cram some more on this after I see how they spread when I cook this first batch oh did you just shut a fan off yeah better. that was weird um we've had the swamp cooler on pretty much constantly for the better part of a month plus fans running so there's just this constant white noise right. and it is the best feeling when they shut off I'm like we shut off for the first time in a month last night. Yes. And it was amazing. And it was, yeah, it was, it was amazing. It's, it's, you recognize the silence. Yeah, yeah. I don't want too close to the edge either. Heron says, put two cookies in the toaster oven and see how they spread. I don't think that I have uh, the pan for the toaster oven anymore. I think uh, I just have the The pan rack. pan? Huh? The pan pan? Like, like there's there's a flat pan that goes with the toaster oven. We did. Yeah, yeah, it's somewhere around here. Maybe you hit me over the head with it. I don't know that I've ever used the toaster oven as an oven. I think I just use it to toast. It, like, there's settings to like make it an oven. You can broil I don't and do that. But like I crisp up my stuff or like I, right, like you microwave something and then throw like, it yeah, in there to toast yeah, it. Yeah, but I have it. Even though that's what it's for, I just haven't like. Yeah, you can literally microwaves. cook like a small frozen pizza in there, like. As if it's an oven, it has an oven setting. What's going on in chat, Dan? Uh, happy Shark Week. All right. I haven't watched. I know they have new stuff this this year. I haven't seen it. I know David Dobrik was like hosting, hosting all the Shark Week stuff. I don't really ever get into Shark Week too much. It's not really my thing. I don't know. I know about it, but I don't know. I like Sharknado better. Sharknado is terrible. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna start with nine. Trying to see how well they spread. This is delicious. Erin said, use a piece of foil, fold it in half. It works for a makeshift pan. I have done that actually. But still, just as a toaster, not as <laughs> an oven. Okay, I'm really excited for these cookies. Like, when they come out of the oven, we might have to try one before we sandwich anything. Okay, I'm into that. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go nine minutes because, like I said, I do want to just undercook them. I don't want to risk overcooking. All right, so nine minutes on that. What else is going on here? Uh, BRM bug posted chocolate covered Oreos to Twitter. Sorry, I don't. I don't Twitter. I don't. I don't twatter. I don't know nothing about that. I'll have Dan check it for me. Um, if you're part of the Facebook group, post it on there. Remember, you guys, anything that you make, whether it's cookies or cakes or dinner, I don't care. Like, let's see what you guys are making. You guys are all so encouraging on there. Every time somebody posts something they made, even if they're like, I don't like this, it's ugly. Does not matter. Post it because everybody will tell you how amazing it looks and they're not lying. We are our own worst critics. You will judge whatever you make way harsher than anybody else looking at it. And I promise you everybody else looking at it, especially if they don't cook or bake themselves, will want to try whatever you made. Promise you. Except for that seafood lasagna I saw on the Aldi Facebook group. Nobody wants your seafood lasagna. You're a timer, by the way. I heard you clicking the button. <sighs> what it's, is up? It's haunted. Like... It's brand new. I'm like walking by and it's just one beep. It just goes beep. And I'm like, wait, what? And then so I started rewinding Married with Children. I'm like, <laughs> maybe, no, it couldn't be. And it wasn't. 
and then a couple hours later, beep, and not like it's going off or anything. A, it just, it's like it it's just dying, beeps but it's brand new. It just beeps Blake more. was having issues with it the other night, so we put a brand new battery in it, and it, it, it went to all, it, yeah, it went to like all zeros when I, I hit clear, but not like zeros, but like everything lit up, like when it dies, but it's brand new. I don't know what to do. Brand new. Uh, ice cream picture? Yeah, Uncle Yukon, post your ice cream. Did you make it an amazing Sunday? Did you sprinkle something on top? Heck, even if you didn't, do you have a cool flavor? Like, what? I don't want to see your bowl of vanilla ice cream. Just plain vanilla ice cream with no toppings? That's boring, guys. Do something, kick it up a notch. I hope that this group, and it seems like it has, encourages people to, like, make their food better. Um, can you look on there? There's a Twitch comment. Um, amp it up. Like, you want to show this off. Don't just eat your vanilla ice cream. Get as many, like, sprinkles and, and fun stuff. Like, mash up some cookies on top. Let's, let's see what you can do to make your food more fun. Uh, have you ever thought about Kahoot? Yes, King Cobra, we have. We've looked into it. Um, what was our issue with Kahoot? I, it's, it's a, it, I'll look into it again. <laughs> it wasn't quite right for me last time, but I we looked into it, it pretty early it, on. Though. It was a little over a year ago. So yes, I will look into it again. Um, uh, Zumi Sakura with smiley faces on Facebook. Hello, thank you. And then I am Frylock. Oh my gosh, uh, with the eyes that look like would, that would belong more to Master Chief. Yes. Cheek, to, uh, <laughs> to uh, you Master got Shake. <laughs> Um, if you want to get in the chat, uh, head us head over to youtube.com slash artfistan. You can see it better over there. And thank you. Uh, Art with Miss Anna Moon and Stars Art Studio says, ooh, I see marshmallow cream. Yes, friend. Um, I see you are just joining us. We are making graham cracker chocolate chip s'mores sandwich cookies. So the cookie itself is a chocolate chip cookie, but with graham cracker added to it, graham cracker crumbs. Mm -hmm. And we're going to sandwich some marshmallow cream in the middle of it and then dip the whole darn thing in chocolate because... Why not? Sounds amazing. I need to put this back in the fridge because it's warm and it's going to get melty. Uh, what else is going on here? Are you going to want to try the Kit Kat with the fruity cereal Kit Kat? Oh, yeah. So, I don't know if you guys have seen this. Dan found this... Uh, oh, rogue bootleg snack today at the Walmart? Yeah. Fruity cereal, which they gotta be generic. Y'all, that's Fruit Loops. It is <laughs> like, Fruit Loops. It's like when they have generic Snickers and it's like candy coated, chocolate coated nougat with nuts and caramel. That's a Snickers. Uh, Call brought, it a damn Snickers. You brought Fruit Loop extract. Yes. Um, which is actually a thing, by the way. In case you were wondering. Fruit Loop Extract? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's on my Amazon wish list. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, fruity Cereal Kit Kat. Normally, I would be so excited to try this, but it's Kit Kat and it's wafers. And nothing's going to beat the Fruity Pebbles white chocolate candy bar. Nothing's going to beat that. That was really good. That was amazing. But this might, well, you don't like Kit Kats, but. I don't like Kit Kats. This might rival it. Yeah? When are you going to try it right now? Uh, I don't know. I just brought it home today. Are you, are you working yourself up to it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll eat it a little bit. <laughs> uh, your name is entirely too long. I'm just going to call you Miss Anna. Miss Anna says, my brain just overloaded at the thought of how delicious that's going to taste. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> Mine too. If you guys saw in the Facebook group when I posted it, um, two of my friends who are going to be there this weekend are like, are you bringing these this weekend? Is this going to happen? I'm going to get some of these. They were pretty excited. Are you smelling burning? I smell burning. <laughs> Well, it looks perfect. Like, I wouldn't open it. It just smelled like... There might be something you dripped on the bottom or something. I just cleaned Who it. knows? I, I thought that just... Uh, I just my Life's Weekend Adventure says, I got those Kit Kat tastes like Fruity Pebbles, not Fruit Loops, as shown in the picture. Okay. I think they're kind of a similar flavor. Yeah, you though. know what? I'll try it a little bit here. I'll try or like, whatever. We can do it now. I'll try it a little bit when we have another downtime. Um, might as well. I'm tired of all this candy in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking it to work. Good. Slowly but surely. Yeah, just slowly but surely going through it. Yeah, just snacking on it. I had to bring my mom the remainder of my white chocolate lemon... I don't remember if it was lemon ring, but it was like white chocolate lemon um, dove chocolates that were so amazing. Um, and I found a bag that I still had in there and I ate them and it tasted like chemicals. And I, I asked her like, hey, I need you to taste this and tell me if it went bad or if it's just me tasting chemicals. Uh, it's just me. 
Just unfortunately. You. Yeah, I had to bring her the whole bag. She was so excited. So excited. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's so melty, Dan. I love the color. Oh, it's got like sprinkly bits in it. I love the color. Okay, come over here and try it. Probably tastes better than that watermelon with mustard. <laughs> um, Anything tastes I didn't. Better than that. I made a sandwich last night, and then I didn't put mustard on it. And then I think I was gagging when you, you were, were... You were gagging like Jason at the mustard. That when you were put... Yep. Well, no, I think I ruined... I Does think the that, word mustard do it for you? The <laughs> thought of... Like, I can smell yellow mustard, and it gives me now bad memories. So, yeah. I had a sandwich last night, and I, I wouldn't put mustard on it. Um, first of all, it feels like soap. This looks great. Mmm. It smells like fruit. Fruity pebbles. It does smell like... <laughs> wait. What'd they call it? Fruity cereal. wafers the first bite was good second is the chemicals I'm back again good again the wafers are not as bad in this I feel like there's enough flavor in the coating it's okay it tastes like chemicals <laughs> a little bit yeah like, like I get a hint of it like oh look here's a little bit of pleasure and then like oh by, by the way it was brought to you by uh, chemicals mm -hmm. um as far as Kit Kat goes, like, oh man, it's back and forth. I want to give it like a, like a, almost a four when I like, mmm. And then when I'm done swallowing, it tastes like, like plastic. Uh, Ew. Like, um, like when it does taste like it does, that's like a three and a half out of five hawks. And then like it's chemical, so it's like three out of five hawks. It's very waxy. Like, remember how Hostess changed their recipe? So now the little Hostess donuts are- They don't even stick together the chocolate anymore. <laughs> ones, but the chocolate the ones, donuts. Like, they coat the roof of your mouth with a wax layer like you just sucked on a candle. That's why the donut gems were better. Yes, the the crumb ones. I'm, yeah, I'm- They're all right. I like, I'm not gonna tell you don't try it. It's worth trying, but it's not great. Uh, Charlotte says, did Dan try cat treats last night? Uh, I'll let you be the, the judge of that. Did you Maybe. That? <laughs> it's the only thing that I could get down after that mustard. Oh, it was before the mustard. Jim says just the word mustard gives him gags. He got traumatized with yellow mustard as a kid. Uh, Jason's pretty much the same, so when he gets drunk and barfy, we like to chase him around with yellow mustard. There's oh. video of that, actually. <laughs> somewhere. Somewhere in the world. Dr. Retrace says, if you guys love Oreos, I might send you guys something Oreo-related. That would be amazing. I'm not a huge fan. So, did you guys see the two new Oreo flavors that are coming out? So, there's salted caramel something. That one sounds amazing. Salt on top of the cookie as well, but it's a chocolate cookie. But I'm interested to try because it's got the salt sprinkled on the top of the cookie, and they don't usually do something different with the top of the cookie. Okay, we might undercook these another minute or so. I'm trying to get, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the blurriness. It's trying to find your face. Um, they are very oh. crispy around the edges. I'm gonna go like eight minutes on the next one. Oh, oh like like shorter? Yeah. They do look uh, overcooked. Yeah. You know what, oh, yeah. Like nine. It, maybe that's, but they're not burnt. Not burnt, but they're, they're cooked, well cooked. Oh, my computer right. died. My facial recognition's off a little today. See. Uh, my last week adventure says I still need to try watermelon with mustard. No, no, you don't. <laughs> I would not recommend that at all. Yes, Brittany, Dan has mustard PTSD. Absolutely. <laughs> that was, oh, it was awful. It was really awful. Uh, King Cobra says favorite channel. Love last night's game night. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. What are you doing? There's like a piece of foil or something in there. Is that what's burning? I don't know. Ooh, fun. It's way back there. Uh, Aaron says, watermelon with mustard? Weird. So there's videos where people are saying, oh my God, this is amazing. And Morgan nailed it. Morgan said it tastes like uh, barbecue. And it does have, like the way the flavors sort of combine, sort of tastes like barbecue. I don't like barbecue sauce. So no, not, not my favorite thing at all. We did salt on watermelon as well. Not a fan of that as well. I don't like salt. Now BRM Bug says, can you get Mrs. Baird's chocolate donuts out there? I don't think I've ever heard of that, so not that I know of. In the winter, the chocolate is less waxy and really good. Yeah, I don't think I've ever tried that. Yes, Jess, it's it's salted caramel brownie Oreo. And yes, you, you nailed the other one. The other one that I'm excited for, so salted caramel brownie one is out now. The other flavor is apple cider donut Oreos, and that is a golden Oreo cookie, so I'm super excited for that. I think I saw that one comes out next month. So those are not out yet. I will definitely try those. All right, good news, bad news. 
Uh, good news, that was the most craziest game of Operation I've ever played in my life. <laughs> Bad news? Um, I, I just instantly just poked one of the cookies, and I put my finger in it. Why would you do that? It was just an instinct. I was like, oh, the cookie bulk. Get out of the kitchen. We'll put your finger in that, Dan. Oh, my God. Can you guess which cookie has its finger in it? Do I need to show you the finger yeah, for the reference? Yeah, finger mush in it. That's yours. <laughs> You're eating that. <laughs> Don't bake with the Dan in the kitchen. It's trouble. It's always trouble. Uh, Jordan says it's nice to hang out with you guys. I've missed you all, but I'm starting to go cross-eyed from this freaking crochet project, so I'm going to bed. Have a good night, friend. Thank you for joining us. We do appreciate that. Uh, Frank and Brain Jeff is here and says greetings. Uh, Hello, what's up, Yins. dude? Long time Yins? no see. Is Yin singular? Uh, he'd be a Yinzer. Yinzer? Hello, Yinzer. <laughs> Did I say that? If there's a gaggle of them, then it's like a group of Yinzes. Yins. <laughs> all right. All right, so let's get these off of here. Yeah, we should definitely undercook a little bit. They don't look pretty, this cooked. Amanda, what did you do for your cook time? Sorry, it's blurry back there. It's... Let me know what you ended up doing. Let me see if I can fix it. Oops, sit down. I'm almost done here, and I'll come back over there. They smell overcooked. You don't burn them on the Silpat, but they definitely have that overcooked smell. I might even just go seven minutes. I yeah, I would go. Yeah. Away. Um. Again, they don't burn on the Silpat like actual burn burn, but you can see these are really dark. This is not how I wanted this to turn out. Um. You can also see Dan's finger mesh. It's beautiful. It's one of a kind. Oh, overcooked. Oh, why would I tell you to cook this for nine to ten minutes? That's awful. There was hints of that. I could tell the hints of the good, the bot. Look, I felt like this, not cooked, not cooked, and then all of a sudden the bottom was way cooked. No. Well, we need to go like less degrees. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, like like like, like like that thing needs to like chill out. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Ugh, that tastes like burnt. It didn't taste like overcooked food. It tasted like the burnt. Yeah, that was disappointing. Oh. I've never made a cookie on no. a silk pad that tasted burned like that. That was gross. I can't, like, that was gross. Chris says Amanda's came out fairly soft and delicious. Well, now I am envious. Yeah. Yeah, that was not good. This is why I made chocolate chip cookie dough, just in case. They didn't spread as much as I had anticipated, so I can do a few more on here, but I don't know if I want to, because I need to get the cook time down. Ugh. Maybe I should just do two of them to get the cook time down. Yeah, that was a bad aftertaste. Gross. <laughs> Spicy cheese dip on cantaloupe. Now that's getting out of control. <laughs> I don't that's, like cantaloupe. Not happening. That's gonna make my stomach hurt. <laughs> like, yeah. Ugh. Well, I was so unhappy last night. Like, stomach. Like, I just didn't. I was. I ate that sandwich and I was like, I want more food. Yeah, you were pretty. Much I was mad. I, uh, I don't know why. And I'm not that kind of person either. But that's what ha happened. All right, let's try seven minutes. This is the thing about trying a new recipe, guys. Don't get discouraged if you try a new recipe and it doesn't turn out the way you want. Play with it. Lower the temperature, lower the cook time, increase the cook time. When we made the white chocolate brownies, we actually had to increase the cook time. And if I make those again, I will increase it even more because it's a whole tray. So you can't, it's not like one cookie where you can grab one and try it out. It's a whole tray of brownies. So you don't know until you cut it up once it's cooled down what it's like. They were a little raw in the middle, so we definitely need to play with that recipe a little bit more. The taste was amazing, but it was undercooked a little too much. And I like my brownies undercooked, so they'll like set and stay longer, but that was a bit much. Dude, but, it was not car car caramelized, Jeff. It is burnt. No, it, it was burnt. That was literally the first and time I, I like, ever tasted a burnt taste off of something on a I like pad. burnt toast. You do. If like, I if I overcook my toast, Dan will eat it. Yeah, and I like it. That was like. That was weird. That was scrapes, like burnt scrapes. I don't know. That was bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dr. Detroit wants to know, are there any recipes coming down the road that use Nutella? Nothing planned at the moment, but I do have a jar of Nutella. Do so, we? So, yeah, I do. I got it at Aldi for like a buck fifty or something. Oh, that's cheap. right. Okay, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. All right. I forgot. Uh, Jim says, it did turn out that s'mores Oreos or as I like to say, s'morios, are noticeably better than Aldi Norios. It's rare when I say a Bain, a Bain brand? Name brand. Oh, name brand. Is better than generic, so... Yeah, you know, the... What were the... the Aldi ones, wasn't it like two different cookies? Was it? Was there a top and a bottom? I don't recall. I'll find out. 
I think I still have some. Yeah, yeah, the frack of all your other ones. Yeah, so the Aldi brand ones have a golden Oreo, a golden Oreo, and a chocolate Oreo, and a marshmallow cream filling. The Oreo brand S'morios have <laughs> two golden cookies and a layer of chocolate and a layer of marshmallow filling. These are definitely better. I absolutely agree with you. The Oreos just plain had more flavor. Yes, it, it was just a better, I don't like the chocolate Oreo cookies anyway, but it was a better flavor. They did much better with it. So that's one where I would definitely recommend that over the off brand. And I'm with you, like I'm all about, let's just get the off brand. It's good enough. It's not a noticeable difference, but that one was. You all right there? Yeah, it tastes like Don't, burnt in my, my mouth. Me too. Me too. That was bad news. I'm almost, I'm almost out of my Arnold Palmer. So gross. I don't know how you can drink that at all. Um, Miles Week Adventure is not a yellow Oreo cookie fan. Interesting. Same, same. I love those. Same with Dan. I love the golden Oreos. Uh, Frankenbrain Jeff can't find the Hershey's baking chips. Hold on. What? Wait, don't you live like like Hershey, Pennsylvania? Is right? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like you live there. You live in the heart of Hershey? They should be there. Don't order them online because they charge you an arm and a leg for shipping. Yeah. I'm just going to eat the raw cookie dough because it tastes better than the cookie. We were watching this documentary or something last night on the cereal wars. Mm. They made that so interesting. Oh my gosh. What it was sell? on, we were watching it on Hulu or Netflix? Hi Hulu. It's called The Foods That Made America. So, I don't know if I mentioned it last night. Oh, I'm still on camera. My, my 80 year old boss actually recommended that to me. Like, it had to have been on TV because you know he doesn't have like apps to stream things. But he told me, did you watch TV? you should check out this program I watched. And he was telling me about the serial wars. And I'm like, oh, that does sound kind of interesting. So we finally watched it. And I think the episode was like an hour and a half. I, I think there's three episodes up there? there. And it goes through like the history of foods. Mm, but it's foods. told like drunk history without it being drunk history. Like like the like the, like the the cameras and the scenery and the actors. And no, 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 no. Um, they, they like tell the story. It's You're not like listening to a narrator just narrate stuff. He narrates a little bit, and then the story continues of them actually in there figuring stuff out and doing stuff. Or, I think it was mostly narration. There um, wasn't like, but it's the like actors a weren't talking. Movie, it's not screenshots or still shots or right. documentary like that. It's an actual, like, it felt like a movie. It was engaging. It was definitely For cereal. engaging. Yeah, For we, cereal. we sat through the hour and a half yeah. episode, and I'm down to watch the other two episodes, I think, that were right. up there. Right. It was really but interesting. But the visuals um, were good. I like the visuals. They didn't just talk about um, Kellogg and Post. They also talked about Heinz. Yeah, um, that guy was cool. Ketchup and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, definitely check that out if you guys haven't It was already. fun. It was a little bit different than that other uh, documentary we watched about the cat lady. Oh, that was depressing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, as much as I love cats... Uh, what was it called? Acro Cats. Oh my gosh. Um, if you like train wrecks. I don't know about Acro Cats. Watch out, she's still touring. She uh, might stop by here. But yeah, Acro Cats, I've guys. got some tips for her. <laughs> stop drinking. Oh. Take it up a notch. <laughs> That's all. Uh, yeah, That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Watch Acro Cats uh, if you want to feel better about it. <laughs> uh, Helen with the super chat. Thank you, friend. Says, hey, Crystal and Dan, was wondering if you wanted something special for me to send you since I have to resend your box uh, of stuff again. Uh, yes, apparently Helen did not put the space number or something or the like didn't complete the address and her box came halfway around the world uh, back again. So, um... um I don't, I don't know. know. Everything you just pods, huh? Pods. And I'm good with just whatever you've done this. Thank you. I always appreciate it. That barbecue sauce was good. Thank you. Um, is that the performing cats? Um, yes. Hold on. Uh, sort of. <laughs> when they yeah, to. yeah. Like yeah. It was a little bit about the performing cat, mostly just about the overall like train wreck. Just overall. Yeah. Um. It spanned like the documentary spanned a couple of years, I think. It and did. It yeah. was. It was an interesting story. It was uh, interesting. Not like interesting interesting but yeah yeah okay real, real quick Helen. i'm sorry uh, yeah i did like the i did like the barbecue sauce that was good yeah and yeah and it has a weird flavor that's not here right. so yeah you can throw that in there thank you, please and then thank you so much for always <laughs> sending us stuff i, I do appreciate yeah, it yeah absolutely you and pods. Good stuff. pods and pods. Oh, pods why don't we have those in america 
It's and it says they're wafers. It's not wafer texture like wafers we have here though. It's like a cookie texture. So amazing. Um, Jeff says he has nine cats in the house. Pray for him. Um, well, that beats us. I'm envious. Not gonna lie. I uh, actually fed eight cats this morning at work. So today was the first day that my mom was back at work, like first thing in the morning. When I got there, she was already there. And I went to go feed the cats and she came out to watch just to see the spectacle. And they fed cats before I was there. Don't get me wrong. I did not start the cat feeding. They fed cats before I was there. Okay, so these are like super undercooked. That was seven minutes. Oh, that's hot. That is hot. It looks a little squishy in the middle. One more minute. Yeah, one more minute. Oh, so she came and poked her head outside. And she went, oh my god. Because <laughs> there's eight cats out there. We have one of those double cat food dishes. And so I put two scoops in there. In the morning, they get a can of food. They get dry food, and then they get canned food on top of it. So then I go with the dry food, and I count how many cats are out there that day. And today it was six more besides the two that eat out of the bowl every day. And so I put six little piles of dry food out there and then I go back with the can and I put a little scoop on the top of each pile of dry food and she just shook her head at me and I said you know I'm not going to be here tomorrow so you have to do this and she said oh absolutely not she'll put dry food out there but she's not going to go crazy cat lady on me sad uh just says well friends take care and be well you too friend thank you for joining us Helen says she's got the pods and the barbecue sauce so far and a few other things anything for you both thank you we do appreciate thank it thank you uh, my last week adventure says Cat Lady on Netflix. It was called um, Acro Cats. Was it on Netflix? No, it was on like. No, oh, Tubi or something, huh? Free, like free. I like, think we were on Tubi. It was on Tubi. You know what? Yeah, I, I, I can look real quick. It was on Tubi. Well, shoot. I don't want to do one more minute. That was eight minutes and these still look really undercooked. But I turned the temperature down. Can down. we do your 250? I turned. No, like, look, Dan, they're. No, last time I got the trap, last time I put my finger in there, I got shoved, I, turned I got thrown down. out of the kitchen like jazz <laughs> on the Fresh Prince. <laughs> uh, Amanda posted pictures of her cookies. Let me go check that out. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see All right, if I can find Acrocats. And I feel bad. I don't mean any disrespect to Acrocat Lady, but like I didn't tell the story of the train, like the like the documentary of the trainer. Like, oh, Christy posted hers too. You guys, these look amazing. Let me see if I can get back to it. Okay, so here's Amanda's uh, no chips chocolate cookies. They look so good. I like it. I like it with the chocolate inside. I like it. It looks like the picture. It does. I do. What's this stuff on top, nuts? No, graham crackers. You sprinkle oh. graham crackers on top of the chocolate. Oh, because it's smoking. Oh, duh. Okay. Right, yes. Right, right. And uh, Miss Christy made them as well. Oh, you guys give me high hopes. These are going to turn out well. That looks great. That looks good too, just like the photo. Oh it does. Gosh. Good job, guys. I'm awesome. For, I'm excited for years. And yes, it is on Tubi, which is free. Free, 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 free. Okay, we're going to let these rest for a minute. I think they're not squishy raw. This is why I hate using a new recipe. Then things go wrong and I don't know what to do. Sorry, I was seeing if anybody else had posted stuff. Uh, King Cobra says, do you know how many live streams you have done? Uh, just short of 5 million. Yeah, over 100 throughout the last 10, 11, 10, 11 years. I mean, there was a time where we only like... Over 100? Yeah. Like, we've been doing Dantix once a week. For over yeah, we're a on, year. We're on That's, episode 70 of Dante. Okay, so 70 of those. We've been doing Getting Baked Crystal once a week <laughs> since October. All right, so a few hundred. Several hundred. We've done lots of live streams over years. Yeah. Lots of live streams. Lots. Yeah, and we've done them not just in this incarnation. Like, we've yeah, been doing live streams like, for years. This is not uh, Frank and Brain Jeff, who was here just a minute ago, watched us doing baking live streams like 10 years ago or something. I don't know. Yeah. Long time ago. Uh, Dr. Troy says, there's good cat ladies like Crystal, then there's bad cat ladies like Tiger King's wife. <laughs> no, 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 not Tiger King's wife. It was his arch nemesis. Hold on. She was never a bad cat lady. She was never like... She was just a bad wife. Mean to the cat, <laughs> no. right? She just like, you know, maybe the dude disappeared, but I don't think she was a bad cat lady. But there's like cat ladies that you look at and you're like, oh, you probably smell like cat pee. Like, they, it's a different level. It's a different level, Dan. I don't think anybody looks at me and thinks I smell like cat pee. For the record, I don't smell like cat pee. 
<laughs> I ask people when people come to my house, I'm like, does it smell okay? We got litter boxes. Does it smell okay in here? Like, I need to know because you get nose blind to the smells in your house. I need to know. Nobody's ever told me it smells like cat pee. I'm talking close friends who would tell me if it smells like cat pee. What else is going on? <laughs> Miss Anna says, this is torture. I'm going to have to make these. The recipe is posted on the Getting Baked Crystal Pinterest page. I would highly recommend giving this a shot. Amanda says, thank you. I'm worn out. Baking always takes a toll on me. I will try the cookies before the end of the stream. Yes, please. And let us know what you think. I'm excited because it's not going to be too hot this weekend. It's only supposed to be like 100. So it should be like not super hot this weekend and I'm excited for that. So I'm thinking 325 at nine minutes. Okay. That's that, what I did on is the new, Is that the new track? Yeah, I just lowered the temperature. Hang on, there's some burnt cookies stuck on my spatula. I should look at the cool more, but I just want to move on. It's because it's not cold enough. Okay. All right. Maybe that'll work. And again, sorry for the blurs. It's today it thinks that the the silver bowl's a face. Okay, that's way so better. that's much prettier. You know Kathy's family when she says, "What's Danny doing all weekend?" Here, I am it's falling apart. I am hiding the heck out for public. Um, like I said before, I am doing nothing special this weekend because I'm home all day every day. So between the hours of oh, eight and five. It was just like every other weekday. And then I just won't get crystal at night, so um don't hang out, I'll snuggle with the cats. But like it's not like 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 when I was working at the bike shop, this would have been like paradise weekend. Like it would have been like the super loud everything's and super like drinking. It's gonna be hot. And super pizza. Will but, you sit on the couch naked at any point? Oh I, <laughs> I don't no. like being naked at all. You Remember know that? that one summer when I messed with Blake all the time? And he'd like go somewhere and be like, tell me when you're coming back because I'm naked on the couch just to freak him out. <laughs> I don't ever sit on the no, couch I naked. Remember. No, I remember that. But no, like I'm going to just like do my stuff. Like I have stuff to do. So, so that was really good. Yes. Would you agree? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. That was really good. Okay. That was it. So my recommendation is 325 nine minutes. And 325 I think is what we do for the, the regular chocolate chip cookies. I think a little bit slower, a lower temperature cook works a little bit better. Uh, Jess, with the best recommendation of all time, if you love cats, don't watch Don't Fuck With Cats. Absolutely. I knew what that was the minute that came out because I had read some <laughs> stuff. I'm okay reading stuff because you can stop whatever you want. Visuals don't go away. Yeah, Visuals I could do that. Visuals sear themselves into your brain. I, uh, no. Jess wouldn't stop talking about it for like three days. She's I, like, you know what, Dan? Don't F with cats. Like, we would hang up like, <laughs> you would talk, like and remember, don't F with cats. I couldn't. I, I won't even. I don't even want to talk about it. Before like, that came out, I and I haven't watched it, so I don't know the full extent of what is in it. But from what I understand, that story circulated the internet for a while. And I knew that story was a thing. And I saw that come out and was like, oh, I know what that is. Like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh nope. Uh -uh. Stay away from that. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Your goal when you go up there, because when you get to Santa Barbara, it's the cutest little place. It's like one of those little like, um, like Marty Bell, no, like uh, like Ma, Ma, Marty Bell, Marty Bell, Ma Bell, like those like those uh, houses from. Um, one of one of her friends pictures. calls it the dollhouse. Right. It looks like a dollhouse. It's painted jacaranda purple. And if you guys have watched the vlogs, we've been there before. Yes. It's deep cuts though. You like deep cuts. It's yes. like way back there. Yeah, that's hot. So it's actually it's kind of nice. Before. So um. <laughs> Uh, you'll be on your adventure because uh, yes. uh, some of the times we walk. I don't know where we walk to. Like, so there is it's like a, a half a mile. There's a park. Yeah, but it's like easy walking because it's nice weather out there. And yeah, you're right. It's pretty. Uh, everybody's got like, uh, like oh, the birds of paradise plant is have, everywhere out there. Yeah, they have plants and stuff. Beautiful like gardens. Us. Their plants have like liquid in them. Like, <laughs> like they have like moisture there. Yeah, so, Santa Barbara has water. Right. So when you're walking, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. You're gonna have to like take a GoPro. I, I don't need a full vlog, but I need like a clip to put in the I video. I can give you a clip. Phone side. It doesn't matter what you do with your phone. It doesn't matter. Um, I, I need a straight cat. 
I need you to find a. Oh, I need you to so find a straight cat. She was there. The closer, the more points you get. It was last week or earlier this week. She was there with her kids and posted a picture that they were walking through the neighborhood looking for the neighbor's cat, and I think they found the cat. So I told her, uh, yeah, if you need me, I'll be walking around the neighborhood finding cats. I actually saw there was a cat cafe out there. But yeah, you did. It's, it's twenty dollars so an hour to go play with cats, and I'm like, but I've got five at home and like a dozen at work. I can play with all the cats I want for free. But yeah, I will be on the lookout. I don't think I've ever seen a cat out there. Like just wandering. Gonna, I don't. I don't recall ever seeing a cat. But hi, have you met me? I will find a cat wherever I go. I remember that one time we left the mall. We had eaten dinner and I had some drinks, and then I found a cat in the parking yeah. lot and I picked it up and I loved it and snuggled it and squeezed it like Elmira. <laughs> Yeah. I will find a cat everywhere. Uh, PJ with the super chat says, I want to go to Bodega Bay, California, where the birds was filmed. I don't think I've ever been there. What's a bodega? Do you do a hookah there? No, a bodega is like a little neighborhood market. Which isn't really so much a thing out here. Um, they're big in New York. So no hookah. They might sell hookahs. Bodegas, like, you can get kind of random things there. Oh, okay. Like, they might make some sandwiches at the back counter, and you can get some cigarettes, and you can get, oh, like, that mayonnaise. Okay. And, like, cat litter. So, like, all the Grateful Dead deadheads. It's kind of like bodegas. a gas station, but, like, no gas, and kind of, like, random. Um, somebody not originally from America probably owns it, but they have, like, the best food if they make food and stuff when anthony lived in new york like every neighborhood has the neighborhood bodega like wherever you live you have your neighborhood bodega and that's like how we would go to the gas station as somebody who worked at a gas station you learn like the gas station people know you you guys like tell me you pretty much go to one gas station right like if you're out and about you'll go wherever like gas station's a gas station but you have your neighborhood gas station that you go to can you do that um that's what the bodega is like and it's just your little neighborhood store. Oh, okay. I, for some reason, yeah, I thought You need a loaf like of that. bread. You need a pack of smokes. You need whatever they got. And newspapers. I need help. Some water? I think I could fit a little bit more on here. I'm going to roll these upward just a little bit. I think they did not spread as much as I had anticipated. Uh, Kathy, who lives in Northern California, says Bodega Bay is a city up here. Yes, maybe uh, next time we come visit, we can go check that out. PJ dropping the uh, the Michigan phrase, Ellis Party Store, which if you guys aren't from around there, party stores aren't what you think. If I tell you I'm going to the party store, Dan, and I know you know what a party store is in Michigan, but if I if somebody tells you out here I'm going to the party store, what do they mean? And this is exactly what happened to me. I'm like, do we get like balloons and stuff at like Party City? Yeah, Party City. Oh, uh, you get the party balloons city. and stuff a, for the party. You have a birthday party? Right, like, birthday what party, do you do? You need a costume? Yeah. Right, yeah. theme stuff. Balloons? Yeah, we did that when I was out there and, I was, and it was like, that's the liquor store. Um, we went through this really like small like woodsy town I guess that's every town <laughs> on the <laughs> way to Jess's town that makes that town look big or makes her town look big and it was a little shack and she's like look there's nothing oh, I know what it was like the smallest town right she's like look we're about to drive through the smallest town and it was like a block and then there was nothing really there but there was a party store and I'm like and this is true this is what happened I'm thinking in my head for a minute I'm like they don't have a Walmart. They don't have, like, a Target. They don't have... It's, like, small little, like, hole in the like wall Like, they're places. driving to the next town to go get and, anything. And you have a party store. Like, that's what's selling there. Like, not a comic book shop. Not Nothing there. <laughs> and I had to ask. I was like, what's, like... What's in the party store? And then that's what I found out real quick. That it is not... It is not Party City. We are not having little Junior's second birthday with a number two candle. You know, like, no. So, yeah, it took a minute, but I was really baffled for a minute. I sat quietly in the back of the Jeep. I was like, well, <laughs> Run numbers in your head how, do they, how does that sustain? There's, like, 50 people there. Who's having birthdays? So, yes, it took a minute. Uh, 
PJ had said Ellis Party Store in Sanford, Michigan knows him by name. Yeah, as somebody who worked at a gas station for, I want to say about three years, you learn your customers. You know who's who. You see you see the scratcher people pull up and you roll your eyes. You see, like, the friendly people that, you know, are going to be like, hey, what's up? The, the teacher that would come in after school and buy his blunt wrap and be like, yeah. any of the kids in here? <laughs> he's all happy because he's going home to go smoke. Like, yeah, you get to know people. You get to know their lives, their families. Because, oh, look, my sister's here. Like, they treat you like family almost. Like, like they know you and you know them, which sometimes does cross a line when they follow you home, which happened to me more than once. But, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, Amanda with the super chat says, it is a yummy cookie, like Mrs. Fields cookie with icing. Crystal, only thing I would say is put it in the fridge to make them hard. Yes, I was definitely planning on that because I do have to travel with them tomorrow. And even by 10, 11 o'clock, it's going to be warm. So I do want to make sure they are refrigerated and set really well. But thank you for the tip. I do appreciate that. <laughs> Kelly says, in my town, you can't go two blocks without running into a package store? What's a package store? I don't know. Whoa, careful. Can we readjust? Your weight is going too far to the back, boo. Yeah, you good? Lay it down. BRM Bug says, in South Texas, Ice House is the generic term for a 7-Eleven or liquor store. Very interesting. Never heard that one. I also... Oh, I think you missed a word here, friend. Never of a, never heard of a package. Okay, yes, never heard of a package store or liquor store. Okay, so package is a liquor store. Like, is that the the store name is package? Um, until a couple years ago, and now see them in East Texas. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Yeah, Kathy, we call those liquor stores. Like, if you're gonna go to a place that sells like alcohol, candy, chips, basically like a gas station with no gas, that's the liquor store. That's absolutely. Out here we have uh, Bob's and Bob's 2. <laughs> uh, Christina sent a, I don't know what this is, is it a Venmo? Thank you so much for the support, Christina. I appreciate it. She says, have a good trip this weekend. Thank you. I need it. It's, it's been a long time. We have not gone anywhere or done anything in a couple few years. We also call them the Packy. Never heard that either. Who sent my vanilla too? Oh, Kathy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm excited for you. And thank you again, Christina. Yeah, I appreciate that. That was, that was she a wanted super, me to, super... She's like, you should come down this weekend. Thing. Not this weekend, but I like I said, I, I definitely want to hit up Knott's Berry Farm. They go on the weekdays, so... You're supposed to be uh, refinishing our steps this weekend, aren't you? Yeah, you Is that going to happen? It is. Is it? That's it, Yeah, like, I'm going to go out there and start working on it, yeah. Okay, so it's not going to be done when I get home? Oh, uh, ooh, you know what? It Challenge? All, it, it all, it's not up to me. It all depends on what, like, happens. <laughs> like, like, do I'm, I run into trouble? I'm challenging you. Dan, finish the steps challenge. Just, like, get out there and just sand with hands. And... You don't have to, like, sand the whole thing. It's not bad. You need to get rid of all the splinters, because there are splintery bits, and everywhere where the screws went like in have to be sanded. Bob Vila? Um, but yes, I'm going to attempt to, like, uh, seal it all up and get it we all We have the wood filler. Um, some of the verticals don't meet the wood, so that has to be filled in all the screw holes, right? Yeah. So that's a one-day, like, sand and plug the holes and let that dry. Right, so... And then the next day, go sand that well, bit yeah, off and so like, it. We'll see, yeah. You so can do it. However far I get before, like, something happens is how far I get. But yes, I, there is an attempt to be made. Okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, Nancy says, when we were kids, we would bring a note from our parents and we could buy their beer and cigarettes from the party store. My mom talks about that too. Her mom would send her down with a note and she'd just go buy her mom's cigarettes lottery, and alcohol. Lo lottery tickets. Yeah, that's not a lottery, thing. Lottery tickets. You go in with the you note and get the lottery anymore. tickets when you're a kid. Oh, my mom's right there in the front of the car. Yeah. No. Uh, Adrian says, so if alcohol is hard liquor, doesn't that make beer and wine coolers soft liquors? Yeah. Yeah, why not? I don't know. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what good. do they call them? What? Soft drinks are like soda. Right. And then hard liquor is alcohol. Yeah. Like liquor. Right. Everything so else is a wine cooler. <laughs> Pretty much. Or a yeah. truly. Kathy says when Dan was stationed in Oklahoma, he said liquor stores are closed on Sunday. Yeah, they also have like... In other places, they have, like, less alcohol per volume yes. in the cans. And um, entire dry towns where you can't buy alcohol in the entire town. There's, I know those exist. It's crazy. I've heard stories. 
Uh, Crystal's giving you uh, encouragement. You've got this. You can do it. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. There's a place in East Dallas called Good Friend Package Store that has all sorts of beers and liquors, but have the most awesome breakfast and lunch sandwiches. <laughs> Interesting combination. Um, we used to have, you know, there's like BevMo where you can get like all the everythings, but remember that liquor store that used to be across from the yeah, it, was, it was in the Clock Tower Plaza. Yes. And that was the most, like, we turned 21 and we were like, hells yeah, like, what are we getting here? Because you could get, there was walls of like all kinds of different beers you never heard of so and stuff. So that place... That's a party store. So right. every time I went into any of those party stores or anything, it put that place to shame. Even right. even in Alpina, small Alpina, we have you one. Like we have apple? one little place over on L by the um, way on the west side over by the Seven uh, Eleven, and that one's got a bunch of beer in it, but still nothing like a true party store, even in a small town like Alpina. Otherwise, all, all our stuff's retail. But yeah, that store was cool. You could find like one of everything. And now there's still one, but. Yeah, the party store was like thin aisles of just like a, a million SKU numbers of just right. stuff. Yeah. Interesting. Uh huh. My last week adventure loves Bevmo. I get overwhelmed when I go there. Like, I don't know what all these are. Can I just get some vodka? I don't know why you got all this different <laughs> stuff. And, and then they have the little bottles it's of It's an adventure. Then you, you want to try them all. I don't know. It's a lot. Uh, Chris had a friend who went to college in a dry county. I was like, dude, what's the point? He said, education, and I LOL. <laughs> yeah. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing with your college education? Yeah, Amanda says Utah keeps the alcohol very low proof. Her best friend lived in Utah for years, and they would go to the base store to get any real alcohol. Yeah, you know those U Utarians, they get wild when they get... Utarians? They get <laughs> wild when they get alcohol in them. Did you just fall over standing My there? ankle just rolled to the right. While you were standing? Uh, that, yeah, it's just my trunk. That's why I gotta wear those shoes. And your fancy new shoes? Well, that's why I gotta wear the shoes, because it keeps my ankles from But rolling. you're wearing the shoes, and you still did right. it. Right, it, like, <laughs> reduces the amount of ankle roll. Gotcha. I'm sorry, what? PJ, thank you for the super chat, friend. Says there's a sitgo, which is a gas station, right? Yeah. In Alpena that I've showered at. At a gas station that has Dude, showers? you can go to their, I like... I think that's a truck stop. You can go to their camping parks and pay $4 and just take a hot shower. Like... Okay, like, that's a camping park. But, but a gas have, station? Like, and it's like a real shower. Like... Yeah, uh, someone who worked in a gas station, people definitely took a shower in that bathroom before. Like the truck stuff. Like, it's like maybe truckers stop by. So then that's a truck stop, right? I don't... You know, I... If there's showers, that's weird. That's really weird. <laughs> I never heard of such a thing. It's not I try a thing it. out here. I try it. I can't stop eating the cookie dough. Really good. Might be better than the cookies. I would public shower. I would take my stuff to the McDonald's and I'd go inside <laughs> with my towel and I'd go into the McShower and I'd close the door and then I would I would hope that like there'd already be glass covering my bed so my head and my legs would stick out. And Ooh, on like the, the big brother shower? Yeah, and then on the other side of the glass would be like my favorite character, like a Grimace or a Hamburger, so it just looks like it's, you know, and I would take a shower. It would like have packets, you know, like my soap would come in like in the you kitchen You could do packets. it. I, I, I paper towel bathed myself in a Denny's in Vegas once. What if their shower, what if the mixed shower was better than any shower, like their coat is better than <laughs> like any other They coke. have better water pressure and shower yeah, bed than the, any, I am, any shower you've I am been in. Down, who's down for the McShower? <laughs> no. I would totally... No, no, no. I am down. Just as it's not like a full truck stop. Right. Yes, but you can shower there, so it's, that... It, you know what it is? It's just wacky, because I know there's nowhere in town to do that. <laughs> there's nowhere right. it's, it's there's a nowhere small town gas station oh yeah and you can shower there that's an interesting thing so people are way more chill over there though like people are way more chill so like you could do stuff like that here they would just like kick in the doors or smash the doors Absolutely. like it would just get it would just get looted this is gonna take forever to make all these cookies oh, Caitlin says I always go to truck stops to pick up my dad What's his, his, she said her dad is a truck driver. Oh, I, yeah, know. Like, I was like, is he a lot less here? <laughs> right. Like, you know, anybody can do it, right? Anybody can do it. Make those money. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so we are coming up on 8 o'clock, and I have a million things to do tonight. So I say once this batch cools, we start sandwiching it up. Yeah, let's, let's get a finished product going. Let's get a finished product going, because I know your mind's going a million miles an hour. It is. I'm just in my head thinking about, like, don't forget your toothbrush. Don't forget your face wash. <laughs> don't, forget your, don't forget your towel. 
I threw some stuff in your in your alcohol bag. Did you like what? Like in your alcohol bag here, I have like stuff so you could make with vodka. That's fun. I don't know. You have oh, so yes. many bottles of stuff in here. It's heavy too. But look, there's four of us, and uh, a bottle of wine. You saw like you and me split a bottle of wine on uh, paint night. Mm-hmm. So you know. Four of us, two nights. I'm not sure if all of them are drinking. Two of them sometimes don't drink. Two of us I know for sure. Are you gonna use this right now? No, I'm using this one. Uh, Two of us for sure are drinking. The other two sometimes drink, sometimes don't. So I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, so this recipe specifically called for good quality chocolate. We went with this. I didn't want to spend a million dollars on some cookies I wasn't sure were gonna work. So, we're gonna be drunk, we're gonna eat the damn things. I'm not too worried about it. Chris says, mix shower. I mean, I'm not bashful, but I'm probably not going with friends, yeah. Dude, you, come on, bro. We're not going to mix shower together? Like, I'm not gonna wear your, like, flip flops in there. Like, come on, who said that, Chris? Uh, yeah. We're not going to the mix shower. You wanna try the Giardelli chocolate? Mm, it breaks down so nice. It is like a little bit creamier. Yeah, like you just kind of suck on it. I think I need more. Mm, that is. I think we learned is, last time. That is good. We were supposed to preheat, huh? Oh, is that okay? You mean to wash? Yeah, everybody sent me a bunch of tips. No, I don't need to wash it. I'm putting the same thing in it. Those ones are okay. We're gonna preheat this on high for a few minutes, and then move it to low. I think was the way. Oh, thank you guys so much. I saw that Jess, uh, thank you for the encouragement of our audience. Jess says, drop Crystal some tips so she can buy fun things on her trip. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm excited. It's a little bougie down there, but there are some interesting things you can find. I'm going to try to talk them into going some, to some of these antique stores that have random, like, things in them. I don't know what. Um, that's where I got, let me show you guys one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses. Was that your sunglass drawer? These are hanging on a hook because they're too big to fit in my drawer, but they're cat eye sunglasses, although I do hate that the lenses are so light. And on the side, they have cats. How cute are these? And they're like 20 bucks. Like, even the cat lady from that documentary didn't have those. She did not. She had cat ears, but she did not have so cat glasses with cats on the side of them. Crazy now. So, who's the crazy cat lady now? Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get them to hit up some of those stores. Uh, Melissa with the Super Chat says, a little something to take on your trip. Have a great time, Crystal. Thank you so much. I am excited for it. Uh, and Chris with the Super Chat for the Crystal Fun Fund. Oh my God, are they trying to get you like wasted? <laughs> oh, I've got all the alcohol I need. Oh my gosh. Uh, we are definitely like, when we get into town, we're gonna have to hit a grocery store. Cause I don't know what these girls are thinking, but like, I don't wanna leave the house. I just wanna like chill and be done. Although I do wanna go to have a burger. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mom drop it in to say, look for beachy things for mom. I always do, mom. Always. I promise you. But you know, I'm much more discerning than you are. So just because I see beachy things doesn't mean I buy them. I make sure to find the good stuff for you. <laughs> Chris says, Dan, keep your hands off my loofah. And you're, that's a good That's a good thing because, so like, my loofah came apart once in the shower. <laughs> and it was just you intestines. Did, you sent it me was, a picture from the I shower was, of it. It like, was oh. 40 feet long, like your intestines. I was wrapped <laughs> was. in it like Jake the Snake had me. You almost died. I wanted it. And then I got this new loofah. Let me, let me old man. I got this new loofah though was all tight and like scratchy. You hate them when they're brand new. I, I, I need miles love of my when they're brand new. I need them to be floofy and squishy, but when they blow up on you, they just like go everywhere. Maybe it's like pillows. You so can't do when we buy new it. pillows, I love brand new pillows and then they get flat and I'm done with it and I buy a new one and Dan's like, can I have your old pillow? Because he loves them all I flat do. and like he likes to mash them all up in a ball and stuff. Yeah. So maybe I should use a loofah for a while and then give it to you. I, I don't <laughs> have a problem with that. It's just, okay, here's the thing. So they don't tell you about this. There is no instructions, there's no warning, there's no, like, troubleshooting your loofah at all. It's like, here's a loofah, we don't know where they're made, or (laughs) what they're made from. Do the loofahs grow in the ocean? I don't even know. I don't know. (laughs) But when they come apart, there is no contingency plan. Nothing at all. You tell me, what happens when the loofah comes apart 
and it fills up. It displaces the water in your shower. And you don't keep a washcloth in there to like have a backup plan. You know, like, I screwed. need a snorkel and scissors. <laughs> it was bad. I had and two people had to to wrangle. I did have to come up. save the day. Uh -huh. uh, a couple more super chats here. Thank you so much, friends. Uh, Adrian says, "Don't forget to bring a towel." Um, I've read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. My towel goes with me <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting there. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nancy with the super chat. Thank you, friends. Says, celebrate. Have a good time. Thank you so much. I definitely will. Uh, BRM Bug. Mom, if you're still watching, BRM Bug says, here's a bit more. Buy her something cheap and tacky. <laughs> I will, just for you. <laughs> Chris with the pro travel tip says, alcohol is better than food. Absolutely, but we need something to mop up the alcohol so we can drink more alcohol. Right? Yeah, it's layers. Yeah. Layers. Yeah, you, you drink... You drink one glass of wine on an empty stomach, right? That way you get that nice relax. These muscles start to relax and you get a little bit like slurry and like kind of starting to stumble. And then you eat like bread, some sort of like pizza or pasta or something like that. Then you drink some more. And then because you've got that bread in your stomach, you can drink more and not get super messed up. See, it's, it's all strategic. I know what I'm doing here. You're a pro. Uh, my mom says I love you. Love you too, mom. And PJ with a super chat says, here you go, Crystal. <laughs> Fun tip, get naked at a sitgo. <laughs> I don't know if they have sitgo in Santa Barbara. Also, super bougie in Santa Barbara. I don't think they would appreciate you being naked anywhere there besides your own sleeping quarters. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Chris says, remind me to avoid PJ's favorite gas stations. <laughs> uh, Amanda with a brilliant pro tip says she sprayed the spoons for the fluff with spray oil before she put them in the fluff. That way it does not stick all over the spoons. What would I do without you? You Gingriches are like one of the best additions to this show, I'm telling you. With the, the naming of the show, the suggestion to share the recipe so you guys can bake along. I will never forget you guys for that, first of all. Uh, the... The always groany, chuckly, punny dad jokes. Like, you always kind of groan, kind of laugh at Chris's dad jokes. This is going to be used in court when they... Because <laughs> I already owe Jess 10% of my life. Right, right. And it's growing by the... Hey, I sent him cookies. It's growing by the by the I day. And then now I got to I gotta give, like, Chris and Amanda, like, some now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are awesome. Oh my god. Chris yes. says Amanda's pretty freaking smart. Thank and you. Tolerant. I mean, she puts up with me. Yeah, friend, we all know how tolerant she must be. <laughs> but seriously, I love you both. You guys are awesome. And thank you for always hanging out. Remember that wife swap show? <laughs> do you want a wife swap? Do you want Amanda to come here? Or do you want me to go there? Wait, that's what would happen. Wait, do you do you want to go there? Or do you want Amanda to come here? I would go there so I could watch you guys from there try to do this. Here. Chris, how good are you <laughs> with technology? <laughs> Can you run a game show? Can you host a game show? I've got this sparkly jacket here. I bet you could. <laughs> yeah, you think? Yeah. I think you could pull it off. Uh, Amanda says, I will not participate. <laughs> um, funny story, I actually one time, I was on the phone. I'm sure you remember this story once I get far enough into it. But I I was not in the room with the TV and I was on the phone. And I got off the phone and I came in the room and Dan's like, oh my god, you have to watch this episode of Wife Swap. This is insane. And I look at the TV and I'm like, uh, those are my friends from high school. <laughs> like, oh, that's right. No joke, two of my pretty darn good friends from high school, like one of which I'm still pretty good friends with, were on Wife Swap. Like, I hadn't talked to them in years. They moved away, and I lost track of them. But, yeah, it was hilarious that he's like, you have to watch this episode. And uh, it was people that I knew and hung out with on the regular. It was cheese, but I always thought that was a interesting concept. Yes. Because sometimes they'd get along, and sometimes they wouldn't get along, depending on what was going on. And I thought that was always an interesting, like, social experiment. But you know me, like, I love that weird stuff like Big Brother. I keep thinking of Friday for your show is completely spaced out. You were traveling. Bon voyage, or whatever. <laughs> Just having a really good time and safe travels. Who's that from? Uh, Jean Gallos. Jean. No, wait. Jeannie, uh, Gallegos. Ga Thank you, Gallegos. Thank you for Thank joining you. us. I, I meant to post the reminder earlier, um, but Dan forgot what day it was. And then oh my gosh, I didn't make the thumbnail until later. Yes, and then you sent it to me while I was back at work. Well, I was busy patting myself on the back <laughs> of all the stuff that I got done. I'm like, Except man, the, the you're so good. Yeah, and then Thursday. you come over for lunch. I'm like, Crystal, like, look what I did. Like, right. I'm so productive right now. And then... And then I said, did you make the thumbnail? And you were like, oh, man. <laughs> then I, got, I put on my shoes and went and made the thumbnail. Yeah, and then I went back to work yes. and did not have have a moment to check my phone at all. Yeah, sorry. Mooch is still just chilling there. What's up, Mooch? 
Huh? Chilling. He was hungry okay. today. I fed him a lot of food today. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some foil on here so that when I dip them in chocolate, they will not stick. If you guys don't know this pro tip, because I learned this way too late in life, but now, you know, there's the internet, so I think most people know this. On the end of, like, foil and saran wrap, there's a little tab you push in that keeps the whole roll from sliding yes. out. I never do that until you taught me, but I will say, like, the TikToks and stuff, they, like, pro tips, pro tips are flying around yes. everywhere. Yeah, with the internet, I feel like a I lot more it. people know well, these kinds of things. And now they're immortalized, you know? Yes. It's not just stories now, like, it's, yeah, I do like that. Yeah, you don't have to hear that from, like, your great aunt or something. Like, there's, there's just always, some 12-year-old on there's TikTok always, telling yeah, you about there's it. Yeah, there's always something zany that's really neat that I'm like, oh, I never thought of that. Uh, Melissa, thank you so much. Reminding everybody to hit the thumbs up if you guys are here. I see 70 viewers and 51 yeah, likes. I, uh, if you guys can mash that thumbs up, it really does help the show. The buttons don't work no more for putting links in the chat. It worked for like four times and then that was it. Unfortunate. I know. Please come out. I know you just released your new line of stuff that looks really nice. Elgato and Stream Deck. Like, that, that's really cool. Um, but could you just get a little update? and fix what you broke. It, it used to work, and then it works no more. Fix your down date. It wasn't an update. Yeah, it was a down yeah date. please. Thank you. Uh, Sam's Life with the Husky says, I thought parchment was for no sticky. You know, I see recommendations for both. I seem to have, when I'm melting chocolate and waiting for it to set, peeling it off, I have better luck with foil. I've used parchment, but for me, I don't know if it's, you know, location-based, if it's because it's warmer here. I don't know. I always have better luck with foil. We're okay. foil family. What are we doing? We are sandwiching. I'm not really 100% happy with how these cookies uh, look. I am not compared to the visuals I of other think people's. I'm, I think I'm going to throw them in the fridge for a bit because it's flattening quite a bit to where the are these the new ones? The chocolate chips are sticking up out of it. It's like like 3D. So I think I'm going to throw the, the rest of the cookie dough into the fridge. Okay. But we're going to sandwich them up. Yes. Okay. We'll sandwich them up. I agree. Something's funky there. Okay, so we'll we'll make three of them. Like it's it's getting late, and I got stuff to do. We'll make three of them here, so we have a pretty one and and a couple to eat. We've got our marshmallow cream, not fluff. Oh, I watched the video. We watched plenty of stuff on it, and I still I still think both of them are winners. Even though this one looks like it was gonna stay still more, and the other one looked a little bit more watery. Uh. I still want to get my hands on the other stuff and, and, and try it. Yeah. But I think this you want, is good. You want to do a comparison video? They need to, okay, so they, I know they have like non-stick pans, and I guess you're gonna spray it. We need something that doesn't stick. I know you're gonna spray it, but like something like made in the metal to make the spoon non-stick for Molo. Like it's only like 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 spared no expense and it's only used for Molo. Nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Billions of dollars to develop a like, spoon. Like fabric scissors, but only for fabric, for, yes. For non-sticky. Only for Molo. Only from all of them. Okay. Oh no, that looks good. Okay, that's 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 good. Um, pro tip on the recipe was not to overfill them because they will just slide apart. Um, how would you do this in culinary school? Is it piping? Is there is there a special Probably. spoon that's shaped a certain way? I don't maybe. Think so. Can you maybe I don't know. Like, hmm. This seems to be working pretty well. I'm just using the back of the um, spoon that I sprayed. Thank you, Amanda, for the pro tip. That definitely helps, and I'm glad I caught that comment, and I'm glad you thought to tell me that. I'm really scared about overfilling, but I know with the the oatmeal pie ones, I wanted to fill them more. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I just gotta keep stirring this so it doesn't seize up. Amanda said, that's what my cookies did. Okay. Oh, did they slide off? Were they too overfilled? I guess I could have given you that pro tip ahead of time. Um, that's one thing I do recommend you guys, if you're gonna bake anything, read through the entire recipe before you do anything. This is something oh, I tell Dan all the time. And I still don't have it down because I'm, I'm so bad at things that I need to just only concentrate on the one thing. Step one and that's it. But like, step one's like, make sure you read all the steps and then like- Step one should always yeah. be read the entire recipe, yes. always. Cause there's all, you guys have seen me do it on the show where uh, one time we made something and I got to the point where I was done making the dough and uh, they needed to be refrigerated for like an hour. And I just didn't even see that part and didn't plan ahead for that and had nothing to do. And I, I think I ended up putting them in the freezer. I'm gonna have to spray this again because it's starting to get sticky already. But yeah, always, oh, always, always read the spoon? whole recipe. You want to spray another spoon? For this um, time consuming? Maybe. Okay, we can pull it up. Let's 
definitely sticky gooey. I definitely liked the uh, oatmeal cream pie I'm filling excited. better. It was it spread a lot better. I'm so excited. <laughs> So we're sandwiching them up. I like that. That's good. I'm That's good. It. Yes. Yes. I get excited. Mooch is not. He's sleeping. What's going on in chat, Dan, while I'm stuck doing this? Uh, or when on occasions in a recipe, they put things out of order. Yes. Um, or one time there was like something that was in the picture that wasn't even in the recipe. It's, something, it's like, it does get funky like that though. You know, the one cookbook that we have, the uh, Cooking Comically, mm -hmm. that's like boy themed uh, comic book kind of, uh, what's it called? The squares, what are those called again? I'm sorry, squares the for what? The squares of comic books, the panels. Oh yes, panels, yeah, okay. Um, he often posts the ingredients, like you always have to check the actual recipe because they'll post a picture of the ingredients. And then as you get through the recipe, like, oh yeah, I forgot to put this in the ingredients list or picture, and like, it calls for something that was not listed anywhere. Oh. So yeah, definitely make sure you check that. Okay, this is where I start to get nervous at how well this is gonna work because it is very like squishy. The cookies are still warm too. I should have let them cool a little bit more, but I didn't really have time for that. Uh, Jeannie says, what do you think of freezing the filled cookies in the freezer five to ten minutes and then dipping them? That's absolutely a brilliant idea, but we're coming up on eight o'clock and I need to hurry up and get stuff done. So I'm um, just going to go for it so we can try Maybe it. like the off-camera batches throughout the night? Yes. Because you're going to let that sit. Because it's still kind of warm. It's uh, it's still 87 out. It's still 80 in here. Maybe if you waited until it was darker tonight and cool, just like overall cooler. Yes. Uh, maybe you'll have a little bit better temperature luck. Ooh. Oh, it's sliding. Oh, sliding. It's sliding. Oh, oh the no. cookie broke. No. Hold on, let's see if I can get, I gotta get, to, I'll bring the camera to you. The cookie broke on the backside. They're oh, still no. too soft. They do need to set. Um, I will definitely use that idea of putting them in the fridge or freezer. This is a recipe I think you should definitely take more time. I know I sit here and yap and stuff while I'm cooking, but we've been at it for two hours. I've got like one batch done. Okay, and then we're just gonna sprinkle graham cracker crumbs right on top of that. That looks good. I lost my chat again. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do the one for now. Yeah? Uh, yeah, because this is gonna, it's gonna drip the, okay. the mallow into here. It's gonna get messy. I don't wanna ruin like all the rest of my batch. Okay, okay, okay. Are you okay with that? Well, yeah, no, I'm with it, yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe I do one more so we can taste it and I don't set it down. Cause if I pick it up now, it's gonna get- Yeah, let's do the three. I would do the three and just be done with this, these three. Or is that one gonna stick around for a few hours until you come back to it to finish it? Yeah, cause I'm gonna refrigerate these. Okay. Like Jeannie said, so they set a little bit better. Yeah, they're sliding. Yeah, but it is, I mean, it is still, I know we're not sweating, but like it is hot in here. It, it's definitely it's warm, summer, plus yeah, the oven's it's, on. It's summertime, so maybe it's just goo. I mean, that's no excuse. Chris and Amanda are in Arizona. Which right. It's apparently, just, it's just flooding over she there. She said hers slid off, too. Yeah, Arizona's about to slide off into California. Uh, Jim says, yeah, you always seem to rush from out of the oven to the finish on this program. I don't know. I got nothing better to do than keep this on. The uh, problem is I have other stuff I need to get done tonight. So as much as I would love to just hang out for hours, I need to go pack and, and get stuff ready. So I say we just uh, try it. You want to take a bite? Go, go ahead. It's all dripping out the back and stuff. It too. is. Go ahead. Can... Mm -hmm. You can hold it over something. <laughs> hold it over you. You seem to be messier than me. Really That's good. amazing. Mm hmm. That was really, really good. I feel like there's chocolate all over my face. It's ridiculous. Oh. Why, we, why do we have cookies plus chocolate plus filling? This is like. Oh, it's so over the top. This is over the top. Um, it's really good. The fluff is different texture than the chocolate and the sprinkly stuff. That's really good. It doesn't taste like s'mores to me. Um, it tastes like chocolate Maybe chip cookies. Maybe once it sets a little bit. Is that what it is? It tastes like chocolate chip cookies with marshmallow. I don't even taste the graham cracker and fluff in it. It is really good. That's yeah. like that's like four out of five hawks. Yeah, that's a good cookie. That's that's really good. That is so much sugar. I know. I took one bite and I'm good. You don't want uh, another bite? Uh, I have no. one for you right here. No. 
<laughs> I do it. <laughs> I have to do it. But that's it. That is sugar overload. Mm. They're gonna love them this weekend. <laughs> that is really good. Sorry, I'm standing on stairs for Tiki Matt. No, no, I ducked down. It's okay, you got me to fix it. I did. I know, but if I stand like <laughs> normally straight up, I'm like way out of the screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, are you, are you choking on the goodness? Is that the sugar? I got the sugar. Oh my gosh, that is so like sugary. Not sugary, so that's so sweet. Rich, rich, Look, yes. There's a reason this recipe only makes 12 cookies. Ooh. But that's really good. That is really good. That's so good. That really yeah, good. they're sliding already. I wonder if I can put the fluff in the fridge a little bit. I'm Just a little bit. I'm thinking Because I don't want it to be too hard or I'm not going to be able to spread it. Or just like immediately stick them in the fridge as soon as I put them together. I don't know. Miss Anna says, oh yes, I so need to make these. Look at that amazingness. Yeah, you guys, these are so good. So unnecessarily sugary, delicious, amazing. I don't even know. Uh, Crystal says, yum, so much sugar. Yes, feel you, Crystal, and I have tons to do. Also, and finals are next week for college. Oh, good luck on your finals. That's a stressful time. Sam's Life of the Husky says, yummy. Ken says, oh yes. Uh, Jim says, when you were doing this on Friday and Dan cooks on Wednesday, I wear out after about two hours, but one cooking show a week, I... I can have much more watch time. Dude, we were so worn out after doing two cooking shows. Yeah, like, doing two cooking like, shows was hard. So easy. We gotta make dinner on Wednesday anyway. Right, why not? Just go ahead and hit that. Just throw the rock and it'll bump the live. It'll turn it on. It'll run itself. We'll just cook dinner, high fives, and we're out. It's not that simple. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of what? work to get this done. I was not, yeah, so I couldn't, I didn't even want to do two in a week. I'm like, no. I hate food. I hate <laughs> and food. I was really glad, like, you were like, this is kind of a lot. And I'm like, oh my God, me too. Like, neither of us I wanted mean, to say it. sticks, you know. Right. And it's fun to try different things with you guys and kind of see what works for us, what works for you guys, what you enjoy watching. Um, we always have, like, new stuff we're working on for you guys. Um, when are we coming back again? We'll be back on Wednesday. Wednesday with Live Hangout. Oh, that'll be fun this week. That'll be fun. Yes. Yeah, maybe we'll bring up the Nirvana book. I think the Nirvana book think will Nirvana make an book appearance. Yeah, so, so. Um, Kathy, if you're still watching, make sure to tell Dan, because I know he did Super Chat one time asking about it. Yes, yes. So <laughs> we'll have that this Wednesday. Otherwise, um, I'm leaving the camera for the night. So bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it from here. You got it from here, yeah. Bye. Bye. Sam's Thank life you. with the Husky with the super chat. Thank you so much for the support, friend. Says, I did a painting the other day, and I swear the step one instructions were backwards. It had me blend around the moon first and then paint the sky backwards to me. Yes, sometimes that happens to those little instruction kits and stuff. Sometimes they're a little bit off. You got to kind of just, like, figure stuff out. I, I don't know. It's, it's hard. Uh... Jeannie says, no freezer, fridge, yes. I'm dying for the delicious cookie. Yeah, there's no room in my freezer. It's too full of ice cream. Um, but I can finagle some room for the fridge. Um, and yes, I somebody said, I don't know where it was, um, said to put them together. Yeah, My Last Week Adventure. Put them together, then immediately in the fridge. Absolutely. Like, I'm probably going to put the tray in the fridge first, put them together, and then go stick it right in the fridge as I'm putting them together, especially because it's so warm here. I'm going to wait probably like an hour. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this. I'll probably cook some cookies. Get those all baked and then let those set because I want the cookies to be cooled down so that it's not melting the marshmallow fluff at all. The cream, marshmallow cream we decided. Um, if those are completely room temperature, I think that'll give us a better success rate so it's not oozing out. Oddly enough, the one I didn't dip is oozing more than the one I did dip. Go figure. It's because of all that talk and all that, all that Godzilla, <laughs> all that Godzilla. My Godzilla, all that Godzilla yeah, talk. I thought you were leaving. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, what else is going on before we get out of here? Hi, Mom. Crystal says, have a great night. Thanks for a fun live stream. Party hard, girl. I will. I will. King Cobra, can't wait for the cat painting. Me too. Yeah, that'll be fun. Paint night for the win. Uh, Kathy says, Dan is ready for the Nirvana scrapbook. Oh, <laughs> Y'all might just hang your head in shame at my level of obsession. It'll be fun. You don't even know. I'm excited. Uh, oh, Ma, Alicia Mosley with the super chat Hi. with the hippos. I love it. I don't think I've ever seen love a little hippo popping have not their head up. Are they hungry, hungry? Hippos? They're hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Ma. I appreciate that. And way to find a, a little emoji we've never seen before. Uh, Ma says, good job. Thanks. Put the cookies together then in the fridge right away. Yes, yes. Uh, the marshmallow in the fridge. Yeah, I think that'll go in there just for a little bit. I'm afraid it's going to get too hard, though. I'm concerned about that. And then I can't... Uh, Spray. There's still chocolate everywhere. Do I have chocolate on my face? Jim says, that's an awful lot of times to open the fridge for each cookie. Yeah, but as warm as it is, you have to. I've talked before about uh, cake decorating and how you do like 
12, maybe at most 20 little like frosting squirts and then it goes in the fridge. The only problem is, you know how that, that thing when you go in the fridge and you try to go right back in the fridge and there's like suction and you can't open the fridge? Sometimes you like pull and I'm like it. rocking the fridge and I can't get it open? I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. sometimes I'm, like, I have to put my like bosoms in the freezer a little bit. Um, you so a friend that did that. I open them. I, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I open the freezer a lot for that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check on RFS Dan and family if you're not a member already. And I saw we've been having some people who like, I know you guys. You're here for our streams all the time, and you're just now joining the group. So I want to make sure to remind you guys, if you haven't already, check out RFS Dan and family, Getting Baked with Crystal, uh, RFS Cats. Join the groups, the pages, the Instagrams, whatever, so you guys yeah. know what's going on next. We have a great community. We do. We have a really awesome community. Um, there's, I would say there's a steady stream of posts, but not like, oh my god, I can't follow this group anymore because they're posting all the time. It's, it's good stuff, you guys. There's definitely some good content coming from, not just us, from all of you guys are putting good content onto our pages, and we do appreciate that a whole bunch. Um, and our calendar is pinned as an announcement to the top of the RFS Dan and family page. So if you need to remind yourself of what we're doing during the week to make sure you don't miss any fun RFS Dan and Crystal goodness, make sure you check out the calendar there. Like Dan said, we will be back next week on Wednesday with a live hangout. Friday we will be making, I believe it's lemon meringue pie because I believe that's the Friday before Blake's birthday on Tuesday. Are we already like at the middle of the month? Yes, Where the did the time day. go? And uh, next Saturday we will have Dantix. Don't forget, no getting naked crystal tomorrow, obviously because we're here tonight. No Dantix this weekend. We will be back next week with all of our reg regularly scheduled programming. That was a mouthful. Morgan with the super chat taking us out of here tonight with the waving lemon. Thank you so much. Thank you all for the support. Those of you who super chatted really does help the show. If you can't super chat, no worries please hit that thumbs up button does help the show thank you for showing up thanks for being you guys we love you guys and we appreciate you we'll see you next time <laughs>